check one two one two. We live in. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chu, the voice of the beat. You know what I want? Blaze up! Come on, Blaze up! It's a beat for me. Wah 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 wah
My bad, y'all. I'm talking down and I had the mute button on. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm struggle streaming already. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it, Roxana. I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. I was um, I didn't realize that I still had the mute button on. But anyway, what was I saying? We got a lot of people in here off the cuff, okay? Y'all charge it to my heart, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't drag me. I'm sorry. Give me a chance. Give it a chance, please. I was just trying to live. I just want to live. Let me live, please, please, y'all, please. I don't know replay gang gonna drag me. As they always do. Girl, what replay gang don't drag me about? At this point, replay gang, it is what it is, okay? I don't know what you want me to do because y'all gonna drag me for anything. It don't matter what it is, y'all gonna drag me. Let me see how many likes we got. Hold on, stand by, stand by because we got too many people. Oh, oh, girl, we only have 356 likes and it's 673 people in the building. So let me go ahead on and do this. You know, let's do this. I'm sorry, like I said, I was I was on mute, but I'm gonna do a favor for you guys. Let's do this. How about this? Go ahead on. I'm going to play the intro one more time. One more time, okay? And in the intro, I want to give you guys an opportunity to hit that little X button. They got an X right there. Hit that X button. Hit the like. And then come on back into the chat. We ain't going nowhere, okay? So I'm giving y'all this opportunity. We need to get the, the video on the algorithm. I'm the only one around here telling all the truth. No, I'm not thinking the only one. They got some people around here telling the truth. But no, I'm trying to get the video on the in the algorithm, okay? So I need you guys. I'm gonna give y'all the opportunity. We're gonna play the intro one more time. We're gonna start this over with. Now we gotta get the we gotta get the likes up to look like the, the people in here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the like button. Or I'm gonna go ahead and hit the like button. I'm gonna play the doggone thing. And you guys, please hit the like button. I sure appreciate it. Check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's the beat for me. Wow 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 wow
do that. How about that? You know what I'm saying? You remember the the, me, the catch me outside girl talking about how about that? How about you hit the thumbs down? How about that? Something. Yeah, I leave. But we have 642, so I guess we are right. It's 880 people in the building. If you're new here, welcome to the dollhouse. Welcome, welcome, welcome all to the dollhouse. If you are new here, um, also uh, I would like to say if you're um. If you if you've never been here, you should think about subscribe. No, you should just subscribe, child, child. Because if you want real, like real, real, no sugar coat, you know, like just real, I'm your girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, another thing, please do not use YouTube emojis. If you're new, if you're new here, they're gonna delete you. They're gonna delete the comment. And if you keep doing it, they're gonna go ahead and um, they're gonna go ahead and get you up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So don't use YouTube emojis. In the comment, use the ones that the phone gave you. You know what I'm saying? Please don't use YouTube emojis. Also, to my returning dolls and dons, welcome back, baby. Um, you know, home is home, you know. Kind of like when I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's home over here. You know, um, so welcome back to the dolls and dons. Anybody else not use up, you about to get kicked out. Now they just told you on you. Is this a YouTube look? See, you know, every day, every day. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't even really care for somebody who don't have a name on these stuff because I know you are burn page. I know you are burn page, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's fine. Just be respectful. I'm gonna get I'm gonna have security get you up out of here, okay? And don't put YouTube emojis in the chat. I'm begging y'all, don't put YouTube emojis in the chat, okay? Hey Kamika Burns, hey my love. I miss your um. Oh, there we go. Hey, how you doing? Listen, that's number one. Like the video. Number two, please subscribe because this is where the real tea at. I mean, <laughs> this is where it's at. I don't know, you know, where you've been, but this is where it's at, okay? Secondly, um, wait, that was second. Third, um, did I say subscribe? Oh, yes. Please, if you have not already, please follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, Rumble. I will be doing some live vlogging. I'm going home to New Orleans. Also, let me share this part too. I'm so tired of people saying I have a Christmas tree in the background. It's a Mardi Gras tree, okay? Because I am from the New Orleans streets. So we believe in, no, we don't believe in, but we celebrate Mardi Gras. And when um, Christmas was over, I wasn't ready to pull the tree down. So I turned it into a Mardi Gras tree. Okay. So you see it. So don't be asking me in the, in the replay game why she still got her Christmas tree up. It's a Mardi Gras tree. You get it? Don't do me. And plus, I love Christmas. If I want to have the Mighty Girl tree up, I'm going to be okay. Anyway, but shout out to the replay gang. Um, Also, oh uh, yeah, follow me on all those places. All those places, Twitter, all of those places are Voodoo Doll TV. I'm the same everywhere. If there's a platform, look for Voodoo Doll TV. You're going to find me, okay? That's what I need you guys to do. Uh, da, da, da. I think I had some more housekeeping before we get into this tea, because this is a lot now. This is a lot. You know what I'm saying? Sharp Powell said it's man. It, wait, what she said? It's just plain manners uh, to greet you at your door with a welcome, like, oh yes, with a welcome, like that. It is, Sharp. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It really is. When you go to when you go to people's house, some people have requirements. Take off your shoes. That's one of my requirements. One of my other requirements is hit the like button. Dang. Uh, stop acting crazy. Anyways, um, I, I want to say that's it. But y'all, please be following me. We doing live vlogs from um from new orleans we're gonna see local new orleans local mardi gras we're not gonna do what you see down there on bourbon street over there with them people we we about to go see what local mardi gras be talking about it's gonna be great so please follow me over there because you know youtube be playing i'm gonna be over here too but you know youtube be playing you know what i'm saying so we got to make sure we dot all the i's and cross all the t's because if we don't girl we're gonna be messed up you know girl what is going on with this hell uh-uh girl i'm about to take this wig off girl I can't sew this hair in fast enough, girl. What the? I'm trying to get it off my eyes, girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Say, nah, nah. Uh -uh. I'm already jacked up. Anyway, so look. Also, no, the reunion hasn't happened yet. So let me say this point. 
Oh, we going to see the Indians. Oh, go and be, girl, please. I'm, I, the Indians is the special part because I need my black people to see something that they don't know nothing about. I need them to see something. Um, I don't know, uh, JM. They just, I don't know. People still be saying it's a, it's a Christmas tree because I guess when they get dark, they can't see. Look, let me say this, y'all. Um, I'll be down there Saturday, uh, Gladys. I'll be down there Saturday. Look, let me say this, y'all. Let me say this, y'all. Let me say this, y'all. Y'all throwing me off. Let me stop reading the comments. Um, it's been a lot going on, and I just wanted to, uh, to come up here and say I told you so. Oh, yeah. If you are, where are the Chris animals? Chris animals. I need all the Chris animals up to the front. I need y'all line up shortest to tallest. I need y'all shoulder to shoulder. If the person in front of you is taller, please tap them on the shoulder and move forward, okay? All the Chris animals, I need y'all up front. Everybody else, give them room to come up front. We need all the Chris animals up front, okay? This is going to be very important that the Chris animals are up front and center, you know what I'm saying? Because they need to hear what's going on. You know, they really need to understand and grasp what's going on you know what i'm saying so all the Christian animals please get up here to the front you know what i'm saying you know we welcome the Christian animals just don't be disrespectful come on in come up front you know what i'm saying come up front i need y'all up here is y'all up here yet are y'all up here yet because i hope you is because i just want to come up here to say i told you so oh yeah did do that mm-hmm did do that. I told, I've been the only one. I ain't going to say the only one. I'm lying. But I have been screaming this from the mountaintop for months. I'd have been called a hater. I'd have been called a trash bitch. I'd have been called everything but the child of God in Jerusalem. Yes, y'all did. Y'all dragged me all in my comments. I'm hating on Krishan. I wish I was cute like Krishan. And to the bitch in my comments who called me ugly, and to the bitches outside, who want to say that I'm ugly? Let's be clear. Let me run that back. To a bitch in the comments or a bitch outside the comments who want to say that the doll is ugly, let us be clear. Let's be clear. I have been called a lot of things, a lot of things, okay? A lot. But ugly ain't never been one of them. Do you understand me? So when y'all go around just saying any old thing looking like yesteryears, yeah, you know, because life done bad the piss out of you. But when you go around saying any old thing um, looking like yesteryears, don't come and project the way you feel about yourself onto me, Fefe. Don't do that. I don't even call people. No, I do call people ugly. I'm lying. But it be real ugly people. I don't just be saying that off the side of my neck. Okay. So please stop. Don't do that. Now say a lot of other things. Say something else. Say, talk about the wig. Who cares? But don't 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 say that I'm ugly now, because now you just saying anything at this point. And at this point, when you when people get to saying anything, people stop listening. Now come on now. Yeah, ugly. <laughs> oh girl. Bye, bitch. Moving on. Let me also say this. Um, I've noticed uh the Christian animals. I've noticed most of the Christian animals are of uh, 40 plus. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Most of the Christian animals are 40 plus. Why is this such a horrible thing? Because you old bitches should know better. Yeah. And to the bitch um, who said I'm 40 and I'm age shaming, calling somebody else old. Yeah. I, whatever you say, I, whatever you say I am, I am. Just like the video, bitch. Let me say this part. Um, uh, 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 uh. uh. Y'all old bitches is the problem. Y'all y'all the problem. And do not, let me say this also, do not anybody in this chat put that panel's name in my chat. Do not. My, if you see anybody in this chat, in this chat who put that, uh, my name in, the, I mean, put that panel's name in this chat, get them up out of here. Do not. Do not. We could speak about it, whatever, but don't put no name. I will, I refuse to give them uh, wallflowers any clout, okay? So please do not, do, do not put that name in the chat. I normally don't care about people putting content creators' names in the chat. Do not, it, the first time you do it, if I see it, I'm blocking you. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Second, third, fourth, wherever I'm at. Um, I have been screaming this from the mountaintop. 
for months. I've been called everything but the child of God. And it's the 40 plus year old Christian animals who are running around here crashing out and promoting the degeneracy of this young girl, which ultimately could possibly lead her to jail or prison. And who's going to watch the baby? You know, I had a live today on my main channel, Voodoo Doll TV. Say hey, Voodoo Doll. I'm in here. Let me um let me say hey from my channel. So in case y'all don't know where I'm at. So I did a live video. You know, every morning we do the morning Joe. Shout out to people, everybody who be over there at the morning Joe's. This is me. This is me in case you don't know. That ain't me. I'm sorry. This is me. Wait, hold on. That's me, okay? Every morning we do a morning jost. We talk about funny stuff. We talk about crazy stuff, but we also talk about real stuff, right? And um, so ultimately, I went on a rag this morning because I could not understand why these women, these grown women were promoting and, and, and enabling this girl to be so degenerate, you know? Um, even so to where if someone speaks out about concern for a child, now they flip that around and now they're going around basically saying, oh, you're speaking ill of a child. I've never, let me, let me be clear. Let me say this from the beginning. Uh, first of all, there'll be no false flagging, false reporting, false flagging. None of that happening over here. Secondly, let me say this. I have never not once said anything negative about that child or any child. I don't roll like that. We don't roll like that at the dollhouse. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is if I'm voicing concerns because I'm seeing behavioral patterns that are leading to the neglect of this child, I have every right to speak on it. Just like you numb nuts have every right to go and promote the bullshit and say, oh, because we were all young. We've all been there. No, bitch. I ain't never been there. Speak for yourself. Yes, I've been young, but I ain't never done. I ain't done two thirds or a third of the stuff this girl is doing. Okay. And I don't want to hear that she's young. She had that baby at night. I mean, 23. I had mine at 19. I know children who have babies at 15 and 16 and take better care of their babies. I don't want to hear that ugly ass shit. Okay. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So I just wanted to say that to say, you guys, um, you cannot go around Bull, I'm going to say bullying because a bitch ain't bullied me since second grade. So I didn't even then. I don't even know if that was really bullying because you ain't bullied me. But you cannot go around with the false narrative. You know what I'm saying? That when people speak up out of concern for this child, because I feel like the child and always have felt like this child has not been getting is just due and not been taken care of properly from what she shows us. Do not go around saying that somebody's speaking ill of a child. I never spoke ill of that child. If anything, I hope the child goes to a better home than from the mom or the pa or the alleged pa, which is the baby dad. And I mean, the ex-boyfriend, Ronnie, allegedly. I don't know who the dad is. So don't come over here with that ugly ass shit. Don't go back to your channels with that ugly ass shit because I'm making it clear right now. I don't speak ill on nobody's children, but my concern, what we're not going to do is turn up to down over here at the dollhouse. No, no, no. Because see, in the society, you are shamed for being truthful. Monique just did an interview talking about how the truth is now being, uh, being turned into a lie and lies more, you know, rewardable. We don't do that at the dollhouse. Whatever licks we got to take, we're going to take them licks. But what I'll tell you this, I'm going to say what I got to say. And what's right is right. And what's wrong is wrong. It's never going to flip flop for me. It's never going to flip flop. It may flip flop for you to, to, to further your narratives about this slow ass snaggle to girl, but it will never do that for me. I'm going to speak my mind. I have a voice and a platform and I'm going to do so. Okay. And what I've seen since, since she was pregnant, not since she had the baby, since she was pregnant, what I've seen is she has been extremely neglectful to this child. Let's start from smoking while pregnant, drinking. Now that I have to say allegedly, because I didn't physically see it with my eyes, but allegedly drinking while pregnant. There's an epidemic of black, young black women having these babies with a whole bunch of things wrong with them. Uh, 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 what's the girl from Love and Hip Hop? I can never, I can never remember her name. Uh, Alexis Sky. And everybody's shamed to say something because they're going to say, oh, you're speaking bad about children. And more and more young black women are going to continue to, pro to, 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 
to have these babies with these problems because nobody's tapping them on the shoulder with the two fingers and the three taps saying, uh-uh, don't do that, mama. I know I did it when I was young, but I want something better for you. I went through it so you don't have to do that, okay? Nobody's doing this. Everybody just sit back and watching because they don't want to be shamed because if they say something, oh, you're speaking bad on a child, the next thing you know, oh, um, uh, the, the baby come out with a whole bunch of issues and everybody's sitting there holding their hands. I know, no, 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 no. We not doing that. We calling it out over here, okay? So at the end of the day, Krishan smoked and allegedly drank during um pregnancy. After the pregnancy, well, before we get to after the pregnancy, we seen this girl on two doctor's appointments. And I know, I know the Krishan was gonna get in there and say, Oh, well, you don't know where she's been. How you gonna sit up there and say she don't post everything? Yes, stuff. Yes, she do. Yes, she does. She posts everything. If you get on here and say now nah, she's selective or she's ever been selective about what she posts, you a bald head lie. You are bald headed lie, okay? This girl posts everything, but let's just say for all intents and purposes, maybe she's gone to other appointments, but we've only seen this girl at two appointments. The one, well, no, three if you count the birth. The one where she found out she was pregnant when she was running around in that pink jogging suit. The second one when she found out she was 20 weeks pregnant, AKA five months pregnant. And the first response after the lady said you're 20 weeks and she watching the ultrasound is, do I still have time to unalive this, this child? Because at five months, that's a baby. That's a baby. She's over there asking, is it time? Do I still have time to get rid of this baby? And then the third time was when she went live to have this baby. What y'all not gonna do is make it seem like what we're watching. Is, is something we can't comment on because it makes you uncomfortable because it makes you uncomfortable because then you have to sit with the fact that you ain't shit neither. You get it? <gasps> Look how that go. You see how that go? Y'all see how that go? See, if I bring out the fact that Krishan ain't shit of a mother and then people notice that and then they go back to you and say, but wait a minute, you've been saying she's been such a great mother. That then makes you have to be an ancient bitch. And that's what we all know to be true. But you don't want to have to face that reality and that fact. But I'm here to tell you personally, if you're in here and you one of them old ass women who's perpetuating this bullshit and creating generational trauma, generational curses that will then lead to a whole bunch of babies that could possibly have physical, mental, emotional, spiritual issues because a bunch of you old ass hoes who want to live vicariously through the young girls is scared to say something or don't want to say nothing because you don't want to sit there and have to sit in the fact that you've gone all your life, made it to 40, 50, and 60, and God still has not blessed you in what you think you need to be blessed in. See, since you, since, since let, let's talk about it. Can we talk? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it and then we're going to get into this tea. Because we got to talk about some things. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This is what we know. Whenever you tell, a, you say something about Krishan, a Krishanimal always has a way of deflecting what you said, right? For instance, Krishan went and brought a $40,000 pacifier. Remember? Oh, yeah, now I remember. None of the Christian animals had none of Oh, that's so cute. Oh, she loves her baby. She loves her baby. Ain't seen the baby in a crib. Still to this day, ain't seen the baby in a crib. Ain't seen the baby in a doggone um, a stroller. It took Scotty at like, what, three months to buy her a, a, a car seat? And it's a bunch of old Christian animals who were sitting there and, and and a few men and i'm not men males a few males who will sit up there and promote this girl and, and 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 have nothing but positive to say for one or two reasons one either you're just as slow as she or two you just doing this for the money and the clicks and the views either way you're a trash person you get what i'm saying so while y'all over there instead of each one teach one 
and talking to this young girl saying, hey, girl, some of the things you're doing is wrong. Hey, girl, it's probably not good that you're over there fighting with that boy. Hey, girl, you might want to go further away from Blueface than around the corner at an a Airbnb. Hey, girl, you've gone through all this trauma. Let's go talk about doing something else. No, y'all don't want to do that. You know what y'all want to do? Oh, no, Christian, she's, oh, she's such a great mother. Look at her. She gave her son back on the seventh day. You guys don't know that because you're heathens. <laughs> she gave her son back on a seven day you heaving ass bitch you don't know nothing about that because you're the devil <laughs> you know them type of bitches you know what i'm saying but y'all refuse to hold these girls accountable and krishan is just the one on the main stage right now y'all refuse to hold this girl accountable because you understand that you're looking at you oh yeah let me put let me bring that part back one more time let's dr umar this shit right quick you understand that you are looking at you. So when she out there getting arrested, y'all don't say nothing about that. Not nothing that needs to be said. When she out there fighting with Blueface, y'all don't say nothing about that. Not nothing that needs to be said. When she had Junior sprawled out on the passenger side of the car while she's videotaping, Blueface videotape her, and they out there fighting, Junior ain't in no car seat. Y'all ain't say nothing about that. When she's online promoting that she bought a $40,000 passy, and then the next day she's up at the airport with Junior on an escalator, no security, no stroller, no car seat, no nothing, no not for somebody to run up behind her little small head ass and knock upside her head thinking she got the passy with her. You see what I'm saying? But no, mm -mm. y'all don't want to say nothing for that. Y'all want to perpetuate this victim mentality, and this is why you are the main reason why this girl is in the trouble that she's in. I'm talking to you. This is why you are the main reason why this girl is in the trouble that she's in. Because if the fan base has said, hey, we're not fucking with this way long, long, long times ago, she wouldn't be here. She's reacting off of the high that she's getting from being on social media. Because all y'all want to do is say she's a victim. Oh, Blueface is just horrible. And he is. But we can't. It's two sides to a coin. Blueface is horrible. And Krishan is horrible. Let me say that part again. Blueface is horrible. And Krishan is horrible. Why those two things can't be true at the same time to the Krishanos, Krishanimals, really, it just, it loses me. It loses me. Because what y'all don't want to understand and what y'all don't want to admit is that the girl is really messed up. I believe she might have some mental issues. I also believe, unfortunately, something could be wrong. I don't know what it is. I'm not no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose this child. But my, my issue is I'm afraid that he's not receiving the care that he needs. That's my issue. I am afraid that that child has not and will not receive the care that he needs because a, a whole bunch of the fresh animals will rather run around with lies on their tongue in order to, 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 to hide the fact that you are single-handedly destroying a generation of girls. You are. You're, you're single-handedly destroying a generation of girls who's going to birth another generation of girls that are, that are going to be 10 times worse. So now the girl is in trouble, serious trouble, multiple charges. And I, it's, it's real quiet on the Crescentimal Street. You know, I call them, the, I, you know, they live in the land of the Lulu. You know, I call them the, the Loompas. See, Krishan is Willy Wonka, and they the, the Loompas. You know, y'all remember Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, and he had the dog on Oompa Loompas. It's Krishan as Willy Wonka, starring Krishan as Willy Wonka, and the Krishanimals as the, the Loompas. And what we not about to do? And what we not about to do? And what we not about to do is be blind, silly, and crazy down at the dollhouse because y'all don't want to face the fact that y'all ain't shit and your real kids in real life probably, and I know they grown. I'm not talking about the little ones, the ones that's grown. They probably ain't shit either. They probably a replica of your ass. Mm -hmm. More than likely. I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say they're, just, they're a replica of you. And instead of you trying to do better by somebody else's child, you over there pushing the narrative, girl, bye. Anyways, in the news, um, I'm done with the old ass fish animals. Stay right here, though. Stay right here. Don't go far.
Don't go far. Stay right here. Because I need y'all to see this first. Let's get into it. So if y'all were on my live on Monday, on Monday we spoke about, shit, a couple of days. We've been going into some things in Krishan's background, right? We've been going. You need a recap, Special K? Let me give y'all a recap. Let me give y'all a recap. All right, let's peep this. This is what it, this is what it is. When Krishan met, let me give y'all a small recap of this whole shit because it's a lot. Krishan met Blueface on the set of Blue Girls Club. It was a show over on Zoom, not Zoom Network, God, on YouTube during the pandemic where they were over there. All he did was put a bunch of little girls in the house and they fought. I never watched it. But when I found Krishan was right on the heels of it and they were going into the Zeus part. Now in the house, Krishan was the, 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 the fan favorite at the time, but Krishan was also the side chick to Jaden Alexis. Him and Jaden Alexis were together. She was a side chick. Fact. Okay. And then all of a sudden she fell for Blue and wanted Blue to leave Jaden. Her and Jaden, well, really she's been in more competition with Jaden than the other way around. Because she's always wanted that attention and love that he gives to Jaden this whole time. She, she said it herself, oh, I done unalive about five, six babies. She said it. I didn't. She said it. Even talked about how she was almost going to unalive Junior. So... She's over there saying, oh, yeah, well, you know, um, um, I was going to unalive this one, but he told me he wanted this baby. The boy gets on social media on all platforms telling you he don't want no baby with you. But yet and still, you want to go ahead on around there and say, oh, well, I'm going to keep the baby. I'm going to keep the baby because he's telling me something different behind the scenes. Either she really is that slow or stupid or she's lying. I believe she's a pathological liar. That's, the, that's my theory. It's been my theory for months. The girl is a pathological liar. but. Neither here nor there. So with that being said, she goes get pregnant by this baby, by this boy, with this baby. She finds out she's pregnant. I want to, I don't know how far along she was, but she she was not showing. When she finally starts the show, she goes down on the show on Baddies, Baddie South. Go check it out. She goes down to check out uh, how far along she is. She gets an ultrasound. The lady shows her this baby on the ultrasound. If anybody ever had a child, you know how, how, how it feels when you first see your, your child's ultrasound. It's a feeling of you can't describe it. You cannot describe it. Most women will, will get either like some flutters or they'll cry or, you know, something like that because they can't believe that they, this little thing is growing inside of me. Now, this is a 20-week-old little thing. This ain't the little pee that you be seeing when you go. You know how when you go when you about two, three months and the little thing be like this and it, it just look like this? No, 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 no. This is a 20-week-old baby. Matter of fact, let's go get it. Let's, let's go see what a 20-week-old baby looks like in the womb. Because I want you to see that. I, I, I know they probably have people. Um, hold on. I know they got people who probably don't really grasp what I'm saying. But we got to we got to we got to peep this. We got to peep this. Because I want you guys to see um, what how this girl looked at this this photo or this this um this thing or not thing. I hate to call it a thing. But how this girl looked at this and was just like, oh, yeah, um, can I still get rid of it? We're not, and we're going into character when we talk about this. I need you guys to see the character of this person that has been raised on Mount Zion because you guys don't want to, you know, a lot of people just didn't want to believe that this girl was not a good person. And the fact of the matter is she is not and has not been a good person for a long time. All right, that's four weeks. Let's look at four weeks. Even though this is four weeks, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, let me look. I want to. I want to get five weeks. This one is too broad. I want. I want you guys to see this. I really want you guys to see this because this has to be seen. This girl had no attachment. Do you hear me? To this baby, and look at what this baby looked like at five. And this is just a depiction, but we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna take a look at this because I need. I'm a visual person. I need y'all to see what I see. Look at this. Let me make sure my setup is good. Do you guys see this? This is the, uh, the, the depiction of a 20-week-old baby. 
five months in the womb. 20 weeks is five months. This girl saw an ultrasound of her baby looking like this. And the very first question she asked was, is it too late? If you think I'm lying, take it. keep looking. Keep looking. I'm about to show you. Stand by. I'm about to show you. I'm not making this stuff up because a lot of the Christian animals, a lot of them are new to Christian and they let her use her top three uh, Mount Rushmore ideas to make them feel sorry for her. The top three are, what are they guys? I know you guys know them in the chat. They are basically crying, religion, and emotion. Okay? Crying, religion, and junior. I'm sorry, and junior. She either cries for sympathy, she either uses junior for sympathy, or she uses God in the Bible. That's all she... It, it, it never fails. It never fails. Hold on. And what we're not going to do? What we're not going to do over here in the house is be blind to some idiocy, idiocracy, I'm sorry, because some people want to act like, you know, she's just such a good person. The girl has never been a good person. Never. Mind you, her mama was trying to convince her not to underlie this baby. And you know what Krishan said? Get off, get off of me, get out of my face, da 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 da. And it's it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. We gonna get into it though. I don't know why it's making me log back into everything. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's go get it. Let's go get her with the um thing and the people are saying what's going on and watch what Krishan's first reaction is. Keep keep looking at this baby. Keep looking at how, how small this baby is. I want y'all to keep this on mind. Now, oh, before we get there, let me show you this. This is when she found out she was pregnant. Pete. Look, deep drop, not the little one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm doing the vlog. <laughs> Oh, my emotions are crazy. Um, I just took my blood pressure and stuff like that. And the only reason I feel like I'm so overwhelmed right now is because I'm deciding to keep it, obviously. Blue Face Mama was right when she said Christian was lying about her pregnancy. She is full of lies. Ain't no way she's pregnant. Yeah. Mind you, mind you, now I didn't even see this part on the video. This is on the show. She's, I'm gonna let the girl see it. Uh, her. I remember making a video. Pause. Listen to what I'm saying. Oh, they got all this stuff. We, we gonna get, we gonna get to them. This is when this girl found out she was pregnant. She's not showing. This is also the same night that she had a fight with January and March. That's Jan and March if you just got here, okay? This is my proof that she definitely does smoke or did smoke and drink during pregnancy. Take a look at this clip right here. From the show. Let me set this up first. We watch this all the time, and if you're new here, I want you to see it. Let, let me, let's set this up really quick. Krishan is 20 weeks pregnant. She's already found out. I think on this episode, she may have been a little bit past that. She's telling her sister, Tessie, e, this is before they got into it real bad. And her sister, I want to say Tessa. I, I don't know it's too many of them. But she's over there telling them that she wants another drink because she could just go and unalive the baby. Now, I can't play it all straight through, so I'll go up and down as it goes. But peep this. Get yourself together. Where the bottle at? Yeah, oh my gosh. Drink it. She asked for Thank another you. bottle. I'm just Where gonna... you get a liquor? Yes, I can. I can abort the child tomorrow. It won't hurt me. No, you should do it because it's cold. No fucking liquor. You don't want to have a kid? I don't want to have a kid. I got my passport, my license. I'm about to get this liquor party. Where the fuck you going? Where you going? To another country. You still can't have a baby in this country. No. So why do you feel like you need to leave the what? We changing the subject. Oh, word. Change it. Yeah. Let's talk about now. No, me and Bonnie Park. But you're not, we're not Show doing it. We don't believe in it. Come on, we're not I have six and you know. That's some cornball mm -hmm. shit. You don't, you're not corny. Come on. Hey. Oh. 
So that was her and her sisters going back and forth because Krishan wanted another bottle of Hennessy during pregnancy, during pregnancy. And she said, it's cool. She can just unalive the baby. Okay. Now, Krishan also, let me see if I have it on here. She uses this baby as, as ways to get sympathy. She used the entire pregnancy for sympathy. The fact of the matter is this girl never wanted this child. Never. She never wanted this child. And what sucks about this is that a lot of people around her paraded her. A lot of the Christian animals uh, uh, cheered her on knowing just good and well that she was doing something horrible to this unborn baby. Okay. So now moving on. So you saw Krishan announce she was pregnant. Oh, let me go get the um ultrasound one. That's what I meant to go get. Let me get the ultrasound. Let me go get the ultrasound. That's the one I want to show y'all. That's why I'm on here. To show y'all her, her response to this pe these people when they told her, hey girl, you 20 weeks pregnant. And her response was, is it too late? It's, you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. There you go right there. Is the volume on? Does this have volume? Hello, peace. I hate when people do that. Stand by, you guys. Hold on. I want to get um without that music. Because that music is not going to be good. I'm sorry for the delay, you guys. I had it yesterday, but all my windows closed out on this computer. And I have to log back into everything. So I'm starting from scratch, okay? I'm starting from scratch. Give me a little time. Not a little time. Just give me one second. I'm going to go grab it. Let me get this off of here like this. Let's go get it. Hold on. We're going to get this. We're not playing today. And you know what else, too, while I'm looking for this? I, I also want to say this. If, in fact, this girl is pregnant, I mean, if, in fact, this girl does go to jail, who's going to watch this baby? Who's going to watch this baby? Who's going to watch this baby? The mama will be in jail, unfortunately. The daddy will be in jail. And who would this baby go to? I heard a lot. I heard a lot of people saying Carlissa. Carlissa to me is not giving. She's just ready to go ahead on and, you know, and be a dog on um, a mama again. She looked like she enjoying her life. Everybody's saying the same one. But I just don't see it. I just, But then again, who knows? Let's see. Everybody sharing the same thing, but I want to. I want the video of of her. I don't want the one with the music on there. Seem like everybody sharing that one because we gonna get this, and I want y'all to see it. It's ridiculous. That's what I don't like about TikTok. Let me go to. Let me just go to Twitter. I can't. I can't with this, y'all. Excuse me. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Let me just go to Twitter because this is, ugh, I can't, I cannot. Let's just go to Twitter. Damn, I hate that I got logged out of all my stuff. We going to get this. Dang, I got to log back into here too. God damn. All right, scroll. I'm so, I'm so sorry, y'all. I hate, I don't know why everything logged me out. Jeez Louise. Let me use that one. There we go. I'm in. Jesus Christ. Thank you. All right, let's go get it. Um, Again, my apologies, you guys. 
I'm logged out of everything. I'm literally logging all the way back in for everything. It's ridiculous. All right. Um, is this the video? Does everything have to have music to it? Like, is that what we're doing in 2024? Let me see. She's a hot mess, you guys. And I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I need to get this video to show y'all what I'm, I just had the shit yesterday. God damn. I hate this. I freaking hate this. Damn. I got to be better prepared. Let me see. Somebody got a video on here. Somebody has to. Hey, Sabrina, how you doing? We're going to move on until I find it, you guys, because if it feels to me as if this is a lot. Let me see. Okay, here you go. Here you go. God damn. All right. I got it. Finally. Shit. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. Bear with me. Sorry. All right. Let's go get it. This is the video that I was telling you about uh, with her over there. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button, please. Please hit the like button. It's free. This is her response to being to letting to being notified that she was pregnant. Peep this. Peep this. If you'd like to follow me, this is the face. That's the lower lip, upper lip. You are twenty weeks pregnant. Oh, is it too late? Have y'all got that? Watch the lady tell her she's twenty weeks pregnant, and watch her say, "Well, is it too late?" You are. 20 weeks pregnant. Oh, is it too late? Yes, yeah, too late. All right, I'm not talking to you. You see what I'm saying? So I have always noticed that there was no disconnect to her and this child from the very beginning. I've always picked up on it. I've been called everything but the child of God because I'm over here hating and da 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 da. That baby is a click, a click, uh, not click. That baby is a is a is a is a a clout baby. That's what it is. It is a clout baby. Unfortunately, it has the mother and father that it has. But now we're at a point now to where she's had Junior. She's had Junior all over the world. They got animals around here saying, oh, well, she, that's her baby. She can do what she want. You got some animals over here saying, oh, well, um, well, she's young. And then the next thing you know, but she's grown. We don't know what it is. This girl literally had her baby on live. And at, at first glance, you would think, okay, that's kind of like forward thinking. People are getting more into being on social media, sharing more things. But then when you really think about it, after immediately after birth, the baby had a dog on booking and an Instagram. That was disconnect from out the whole time. And then she takes the baby into the studio, no headphones. The baby had to be like maybe a week old, maybe a week old. She's in the studio with this baby, no headphones. And she gets on live after we all pitch a fit about it. And she was like, oh, yeah, he had headphones. Also, she can make that whack ass song. And y'all know the song singing along with me. Junior, a junior. Can't you tell I need love? It took for blue face to expose a hernia after the baby was in the lean back bad joke position for us to know that something is really wrong with this child. I don't agree with what he did, but when he said why he did it, I understand. Again, I would never do it. I would never uh, tell somebody to do it. But I understand why he did what he did. But see, what she did was flip that with the crying. Oh, I'm going to send you to jail, bro. I'm sending you to jail, blue, blue. You're gay. I'm sending you to jail, bro. You exposed my baby, bro. I'm sending you to jail, bro. <laughs> oh, blue face, how could you do this, bro? I hate you, blue. You're going to jail, bro. And all of the people, all of the Christian animals ate it up. Yes, you did. And if you was there, I know you did. And I'm sitting back watching like, bitch, I know you fucking lying to me. I know you lying. And granted, yes, he did expose the baby's genitals. But ultimately, that now, see, that's why Blueface is stupid and dumb. 
because he did expose it and he should have tailored it or tweaked it a little to kind of cover that part. But what he was trying to do was show you guys that this girl is over there acting like everything is fine with this baby, but she's not taking care of this baby. If it were not for her, for him putting that photo up there, who knows what position Junior will be in. Junior goes all the way to the doctor in Baltimore. He don't even go to a doctor where he lives. But Krishanamus will make an excuse about that. Well, she can do whatever she wants. Uh, absolutely, she can. But neglect her child online is what she can't do. And I'm going to speak out on it every single time. Every time. Every single time. I'm going to speak out on it every single time because what y'all not going to do is gaslight me into believing that I'm wrong for saying, yo, this is not right. It's not right. And all she do is get on here crying. I get it. She snaggled too. So it puts you in the mind of a toddler when you see the heifer. Get the crying and acting a fool. But ultimately, she's putting on an act. It's all an act. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. It is an act. That's all it is. And it's, it's sick because a lot of people turn a blind eye simply because they don't want to make her look bad. Because if they make her look bad, then they have to realize that they ain't shit too because they've been pulling for this girl for all of this time. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I'm trying, I, I just, I don't understand us as a culture. Like I said this morning, when did we go from caring about children, black women? When did black women stop caring about children? When? Because I've always known black women to go head first behind children. Not that fake shit they be doing today. Well, oh, kids are off limits. Kids are off limits. You don't say anything negative about a child. Kids are off limits. Not that. Those are probably the worst mothers. I'm talking about the mothers who protect the children with their lives, who protect the children with everything. When did we start caring more about the adult than we do about the, 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 the child? This, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. It really, it truly doesn't. And we've gone, we've gotten here and, and we don't even realize that we've gotten here until we already here. Most of us still haven't realized it because most of us still want to sit up there and act like we ain't watching what we watching. It's ridiculous. And that poor baby. And that poor freaking baby. It's ridiculous, bro. It is sad. It's super sad. And I blame black people. I blame us. Because we were the ones who were promoting the bullshit. Instead of doing something like me, using my platform to say this ain't right, it was a whole bunch of pages, a whole bunch of channels. Y'all made a lot of money. I hope that money was worth it. I hope that money was worth it because you were the perpetual drug dealer. You were pushing the crack into the communities. You were literally pushing the crack into the communities. So I hope you feel good and you sleep good at night because this poor child, not only is probably going to suffer physically, he's going to suffer all types of ways because y'all egged on the foolery and not a girl could possibly be going to jail. She got charges coming out of the ass work. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and, and it's our fault. It's our fault. It's our fault. It's sad, bro. It's it's real, real sad, bro. It's real, real sad. Um. Anyways, so she got on there crying because I'm not about to keep looking for it. She got on there crying. Y'all know the video. It's all over the place. She got on there crying. Um. Everybody forgave her or everybody was on her side. Oh, he's just such a horrible person. Now y'all around here saying she need to leave him. Well, she said she gonna leave him and then came back and said, that's my baby daddy. Y'all can kiss my ass. None of y'all ain't got no money. Y'all mind y'all business. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. She curses y'all out every chance y'all get. Every chance she get. She says she distances herself from her family. She goes over there squatting at Blueface house, running around that man house with a shirt on, no drawers or probably nothing. I don't know to be fact, but running around that man house with hardly literally nothing on with her daddy in the house. Just her, him, and the baby. 
And then she tries to do what? Use one of the three things when she needs y'all? Whole Bible study. The bitch online talking about Bible study this, Bible study that, and she don't even know the stories of the Bible. She don't even know the characters. She don't even know that the war that's going on is happening in Israel. She don't know nothing. But this is the girl who they say first words was hallelujah. This is the girl. This is the girl. It's sad, bro. It's my people, bro. My people. I love us, but we jacked up, man. We jacked up. I love us. God knows I do, but we are jacked up. I'm talking about real bad. We jacked up. So, are you guys familiar with the situation between? Um, because let's just get to it. Are y'all familiar with the situation between Krishan Rock, Tamar Braxton, and James Rice Chanel? I'm pretty sure you are. If you aren't, that's fine. We'll go right into it, you know? Um, I can't read it right now. So if, if not, we'll go right into it. So Krishan Rock is, gets invited on tour by that Fraggle Rock. I'm talking about Tamar Braxton. Um... And it reminds you, it's not really a tour. It is really like a living room tour because we all know Tamar Braxton, love her down to the ground. No, I don't love her. I'm lying. But Tamar Braxton is a wonderful singer, probably one of the better singers we have today. But the, at the end of the day, Krishan, I mean, not Krishan, Tamar sells out living rooms and dining rooms. She don't sell out no arenas, no big crowds. Girl, that girl sell out uh, dens in the house. Maybe a backyard, depending on what's going on. So anyway, they had this doggone thing, right? They had this doggone thing. And Krishan feels a way because Krishan didn't get to perform. Krishan was under the impression that she was supposed to perform. Everybody else is around here saying, I don't know what you're talking about. All of a sudden, Krishan does what Krishan does because she lacks the emotional, mental, and physical uh, uh, intelligence to use her words. She hauls off and golfs. James Wright Chanel, who is uh, Tamar Braxton's best friend or friend and backup singer, she hauls off and golfs him in the mouth, knocking or chipping two of his teeth. Let's go take a look at this, because what we're not going to do is I want to say this, too, before we get here, before we get here, I was the first one saying she did it. Oh, yes, I was. All you Christianimals over there. All you Christianimals over there. All of y'all was over there saying, how you know? We need proof. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. Y'all just be trying to make up something on this girl. You don't know. You don't know. Da -da 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 -da. Well, let's go take a look at James Wright Chanel. Let's go take a look at this, please, and thank you. against the influencer I it, I want you guys to see Zeus it. TV star Krishan Rock. Chanel. We don't need to hear that part. So after this is the thing with Krishan. I mean with Tamar that I don't like. Let me say what I don't like about Tamar. Tamar, you a bullshit ass bitch. And let me tell you why. James Wright Chanel is allegedly her friend. That's what she said. That's my friend in real life. And when this all first kicked off, shout out to Mr. L. Davis. Mr. L. Davis was the one who came out and exposed that Krishan did that. He was ultimately fired because Krishan, not Krishan, because Tamar felt like he overstepped his bounds. Now, if this is my real friend in real life and I invite an artist on my tour, if that artist then takes something and does something negative to my friend such as assault them, you think I'm trying to save them and save face? 
but Tamar was. Tamar only flipped that around when she started getting dragged on the internet. Also, and when Krishan came back and told her, bitch, I'm going to kick your ass too. Now you want to come out and say, my friend was assaulted. My friend was assaulted. But let me tell you something, James Wright Chanel, because they say you around here suing Krishan. But you're suing, you're not suing all the right people. You know what? Who I would have sued? Tamar Braxton, whatever production company have, anything, anybody in any type of ownership, anybody in any type of ownership would have been sued, Tamar included, because as an employee, backup singer, to the employer, Tamar Braxton, you are responsible for my, uh, my, uh, my safety. And if you don't assure my safety, then I then uh, I can sue you because you're liable you're liable and since you don't want to stand up for me in the public this is before she finally came out if you don't want to stand up for me in the public and you want to basically go around here and try to uh, oh just i'm praying for everybody involved what the fuck you praying for krishan for this that, she's the tasmanian devil not your friend what are you praying for her for black people stop praying for everybody because most of y'all don't even do it number one but secondly stop praying for everybody as if, hey, you know, this is going to be, you know, because this is what we're supposed to do. No. Some people, she said it out of her own mouth. She don't want your help. She don't want to be saved. Stop clogging up the prayer line with that bullshit with Krishan. Leave Krishan be, okay? But James Wright Chanel, you didn't sue all the right people. I would have sued my best friend or my so-called friend because that ain't no friend. And I gonna give a good goddamn what nobody say they're gonna be like well you know that's still that boyfriend i don't care you didn't show that you were my friend because you didn't have my back you waited till she threatened your ass you waited till she threatened your ass and now all of a sudden it's oh yeah well she did hit my friend poor mr l davis lost his whole job he lost his whole job because Krishan basically, um, because Krishan hit, hit her friend and then he came out and said something as he should. And I hope Mr. Davis, I don't know if he, uh, if he will ever see this video, but I hope that you receive compensation too. I would sue that bitch, uh, Tamar too. Sure would. Sure would. Sure would, would, and would, and would. I would sue her. You are responsible as the doggone, um, as a doggone employer to, to ensure that your employees are fine. And you did not do that. You did not do that. So you are responsible. Okay, so that was that issue. Now, in case you guys, well, let me just play this little piece of Mr. Davis going in. This is the guy who was sued, I mean, who was fired for ultimately doing the right thing. Like I tell y'all all the time, when you grow up, they tell you, hey, uh, you're supposed to do the right thing. They're a motherfucking lie. Because it looks like in these days, doing the right thing gets you in trouble. I'm still going to encourage y'all to do the right thing, but I'm just saying. Peep him. I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto disgusting gutter but i don't even want to call her a girl first of all she's trash she should have never been at my show so she come to tamar concert which i planned and i will say that um drunk with a thousand people smelling like weed looking dumb okay and so she apparently she makes music i didn't know that you know what i'm saying and apparently she wanted to drop a beat so she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I, I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool, okay? She, so now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So. Again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War. She ruined the song. She ruined the concert. She ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus. Right, so everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there, rough, rough, like a dungeon dragon, right? 
So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like nobody tried to like shade you. We we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again, lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, hmm. chipped James tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital right now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them. And I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Croissant know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show, okay? I might not have sang Love and War, but I'm the only reason everybody heard it tonight. Let this me. is no disrespect because I love the brat. Let me let me be clear. We don't care what you got to say, Carlissa. Not tonight. This is not your night. Let me be clear. Um, this guy did the right thing. He literally came out and said, "Hey, y'all, this girl assaulted my friend," and he was ultimately fired for it. Let's be honest. He was ultimately fired for it. All the Christian animals were over there saying, "I don't believe it. You need to show us proof." Christian herself. Even was up there saying, this is bullshit. Y'all just hating on me. I'm covered by God. Remember all of that? Y'all remember all of that? I'm covered by God. I didn't do nothing. Y'all just hating on me. All the Christian animals. I don't believe she did that, even though she has had a long history and past of hitting people with no without warning. She's a sneak attacker. That's what she does. She sneaks people. That's literally all she does. So the fact that all of these people was around here saying, oh, I don't believe this. I don't believe that y'all were full of shit. And she uses God, like I said, because she turned right back around and was like, um, God got me. I'm just covered. Y'all just hating on me. Show a video or it didn't happen. Y'all just hating on me because I'm covered by God, by Jesus. I'm sorry. That's what she says. Well, it has hit the news that James Wright Chanel has sued her ass. And also there are charges. We're going to get into the charges after this. But let's get into this lawsuit. So. James Wright Chanel um, ends up suing Krishan and also the there's charges being filed by him, by the DA, and she's also in violation of probation for other charges. But let's get to this first. So in this article from TMZ, it says Krishan Rock sued by backup singer alleged assault used slur. Now, let me say this part to see whoever James Wright Chanel's lawyers are. You are very smart, ma'am or sir. You are very smart because let me tell you something. When you put that slur in there, what does that turn it into? Who put it in the chat? What happens when you put a racial slur on top with or any type of slur on top of violence? I'm telling you right now, it is a I'm waiting for it, hate crime. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. It is literally a hate crime. That's literally what it is. So when she's over there, while they over there saying, oh, she didn't do nothing, she didn't do nothing, and we have physical proof, even though James has come out and said it, we've had physical proof that this girl did this to this boy. At least we had proof that it happened. All the people on Tamar's side were saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? This happened. But all of the Christianimals wanting to live in the bushes, they were all over there saying, oh, that never happened. I don't believe that. They just hating on Christian, da 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 You know how it goes. Same shit, different toilet, right? So, well, turns out the lawyer put in now, it was a hate crime. Smart attorneys. I hope Tamar paid for it because that's the least she could do with her illegitimate ass. Anyways, so it goes on to say, Krishan Rock's facing a legal battle of the, on the civil front. She's on the receiving end of a lawsuit for an alleged assault, one that allegedly took place during a Tamar Braxton show. According to the legal documents obtained by TMZ, legal documents, and I got some too, TV personality James Wright is suing Krishan, claiming she attacked him at a club show back in November. An incident, he says, uh, led to multiple face lacerations and two broken teeth. 
Now, this is James Wright Chanel. Y'all know he's the patty pie dude. He was the one over there saying for the patty pie. He the reason we all went out there and got them nasty ass patty pies. James, I ought to sue your ass. Get me up here. No, get James up here and get me up here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I got PTSD. We ought to do a class action lawsuit against James' ass. Because he had us all running down to Walmart to get that dry ass patty pie. And at this point, I feel like that's a hate crime. You feel what I'm saying? That within itself is a hate crime, James, right, Chanel? Tread life at, because I might start a class action lawsuit. It was only because you got your big ass up there hollering, Patty! That's the only reason, because I wanted to taste a slice of this pie and hit the Patty! And I took a slice out of it, and I wanted to throw the whole pie down Patty's throat. Okay? So you ought to be lucky. I getting PTSD thinking about it. I might start it. I want to see how much you get from Krishan because we might be uh we might be obligated. What how does how the commercial be saying you might you might be entitled to a claim. We might be entitled to a claim. Okay. We might be entitled to a claim. Shit. Fuck me up. I'm running down there fighting people to get these damn patty pies, girl. I'm asking a man when the truck come in. What's well, sir, we out. Well, when is the truck come in? It come in Wednesday. I'm outside early because I know Thanksgiving tomorrow. Girl, waiting on the truck, bitch. Girl, please. You owe me, uh, James, right? I'm going to be watching to see how much you get. Because at this point, I'm old. I'm entitled to a compensation. Matter of fact, we all entitled to a compensation. Y'all stand by. We're going to stay on this case because this could be our payday, okay? This could be our second uh, uh income tax for this year. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to get that part out the way, James, right? Chanel. Shit. Piss me off that damn patty pie. Nasty ass patty pie. How that boy say that comedian that comedian. He said, I'd rather eat patty than eat patty's pie. I say, oh, sound about right. Anyway, let's get into it. It says. James Wright Chanel or James Wright was reportedly hospital, hospitalized following Tamar show in downtown Los Angeles around this same time. Remember, the charges were filed in L.A. in November. It says Tamar talked about the alleged incident during an IG live where she said Krishan thought she was supposed to have a bigger role in the show and apparently became agitated when she was told that wasn't the case. We all know how the Tasmanian devil rolls. It says, we obtained video to show Krishan breaking up a prayer circle before the show, but eyewitnesses on the tour told us that had nothing to do with the alleged incident. Y'all remember the, the, this thing right here, where she was in there breaking up the prayer. We don't need to look at it. Now, then it says, anyway, in the suit, James, who sang back up for Tamar Braxton, says he told Rock she was supposed to, to, she was supposed to only come on stage for the twerk portion at the end of the night. He says he told her she was not in the properly designated area, and that's when she allegedly hit him. Wright claims Rock struck him several times using a hand with large championship rings, championship, oh, champion style rings, I'm about to see, that caused the lacerations and broken teeth. He also claims she called him a homophobic slur in the aftermath of the alleged assault. I believe it. Oh, yes, I believe it. I believe every bit of it. Yes, I do. I believe it. Oh, yes. Because we all see how she do. We know her pathology. Her pathology. We know her pathology. I believe it. But, you know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the Christian animals was over there saying, that girl didn't do that. Why would that girl do that? She ain't even like that. When all we've seen is her around here, Um, what you call them? Take a look at the rings if you think I'm bullshit. Take a look. Look at these rings. Imagine getting golfed in the mouth with rings that look like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like how these rings work. <laughs> What's going on with rocking bitches? Hey. The, baby, the big rock. Got right. blue, man. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Don't let me You know what I'm saying? Right. Like how these rings work. <laughs> They're going to use that as evidence, duck, duck, goose. Talking about be careful. I'm going to show you how the rings work. Oh, yeah, you did. And they're going to use that as evidence. Look at them big ass rings and she got somebody in the mouth. Now, listen, let me say this part. I never and do not condone, condone hitting women. But if a bitch, a nigga or a child hit me in my mouth with rings the size of six NCAA championship rings, bitch, all, all gloves are off, okay? You got to let the chips fall where they may. At that point, 
the chips got to fall where they may. You got to give it to God. Okay? This ain't no regular, regular, schmegular shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the article. Anyways, so the article goes on to say, Wright says he was sent to a hospital and also had to consult with a dentist and plastic surgeon in the aftermath of the alleged incident. Now James is talking, uh, is taking Krishan uh, for assault, battery, and emotional distress, as you should, but you should be telling that to Tamar too. And he's seeking compensation for his medical bills, amongst other damages. You know, James Wright Chanel was over here on, on live asking for super chat, not super chat, cash app. Yes, he was. He was over there looking for cash app, you know. And, and at the end of the day, let me just say this, you guys, and we can stop sharing this. Let me say this. You cannot go around putting your hands on people. You cannot. You cannot do that. I don't give a good goddamn. Yes, you can in the hood. And yes, in the hood, it typically goes on without a hitch or goes off without a hitch. But what happens is when you get into the real world and you clock out of baddies, you can't go around putting your hands on people. Because one or two things can happen. Number one, it could be a financial response. Or two, it could be a, a, a personal response. And we all know how that goes. You don't get to do that, Krishan. I know Lemmy Well, I know Zeus Diddy. That's what I call Lemmy Well. I know Zeus Diddy pays you well to go blow for blow with the other uh, bitches down there at baddies. But this ain't baddies. See, when you clock out over there from the Zeus network, you got to clock into reality. Okay? So... He has every right to sue you. Absolutely, he should sue you. If anything, he should have been suing you long, 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 long times ago. Okay? And that's just what it is. So, she, like I said, all of that happened in November. She got charges filed in November, and we're going to go get that. But before we get to that, I want to show y'all this other video. So, to set this up. So, now, recently, Krishan was on live asking people to uh, come up and talk to her about Bible stories she know nothing about. So she's over at Blueface house and the police or the sheriff is knocking on the door. Now to the normal person, they might be like, well, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, whatever, whatever. Normal, normal people will go answer the door and say, yes, y'all, yes, officer, what's going on? But when you have alleged or possible warrants, you tend to, you tend to, um, how do you say, you tend to freak out because you don't know what they want. And mind you, this wasn't the police. And if I said it was the police, my bad. Let me rephrase that. This was the sheriff. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, the sheriff is different from the police. The police is the ones who walk the beat. The sheriff got all the power. See, that's why I keep telling y'all, y'all got to understand y'all laws and what goes on in y'all neighborhoods. The police is the ones who do the beat. They walk the beat. They run there in the cars, pulling over people, giving them tickets and all of that. The sheriff runs the town, okay? So she had the sheriff come to her house, possibly with a warrant and or to arrest her and or an eviction notice. Who knows? Wack 100 been saying he been trying to get up out of there for how long? Her and the Paul, to be honest. So let's go get this video of what happened when she finally, because I said it, and I and let me say this too. I was the one, I, it was me. I was the one who brought out the fact that she had active charges. I did that. Nobody else did that. We were all speculating. I did that. Give Voodoo Doll TV her credit. Give the dollhouse their credit. We did that. We did that. Shout out to my dolls and dons. We did that first. It went viral. Good. Now, my video didn't go viral, but the information went viral. That's all that needed to happen because now here, 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 here we are. Okay. So now let's get into it. So Krishan, Krishan goes over. She's over there at Blue House. If you ask me squatting, that's what it, it gives to me. And she's over there at Blue's house squatting and the police come. Shout out Circus of Blue's. Shout out to Circles of Blues on Instagram. Y'all go check them out. Let's see what happened when all of this goes on. Check this out. Let me turn the volume on so y'all can hear it. Here. You say you don't have that. You got to What? I'm serious. Hey, right, I'm about to get off live. And they bring somebody to search the house, huh? I don't know what the fuck. Huh? You got the 
Bop say he's like, <laughs> why the fuck is cops at the door? No, they don't, they don't have to. They just go away. They don't don't like, you think so? Fuck yeah. It's like, yeah. I think go off the side gate like what? Mm-hmm. Fuck you here, fine. I don't want I'm finna leave, like bro. The door. We don't want huh? I feel like yelling out the door. We don't want none. We didn't call y'all, so I got y'all can leave. Uh, or just let them not. No, I'm saying we don't need we don't need y'all. Right. They only come when they need it. You know what I mean? Right. We don't need y'all just come knocking at the door anytime y'all fucking feel like it. Right. Just because a white boy is calling y'all. Fuck you. It's that neighbor. Huh? It's that weird neighbor. I'm not trusting. He's probably doing something. Right? They said the sheriff is what? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck no, bro. It's just like, what's going on? What they going to do with me? They come along the side and look at the back. They, they do that? No, they do that. Oh, fuck no. Look, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to. Shit. Let me get up off of here. I got a plan real quick. All right. I go live and get. Don't All right. say them. So, in case you guys don't know, that was when the sheriff's department pulled up to the house. You know what I'm saying? The sheriff's department had pulled up to the house. They were there to serve or to arrest. That's it. They don't come. To, when the sheriff come to your house, it's one of three things. I'm lying. It's one of three things to serve you some shit to take your ass to jail or to unfortunately sometimes uh, 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 notify you of a, of, a, of a loved one not being here no more, being deceased. That's literally why they come. They are in charge of the town. Sheriffs run the town, not the police. So when the sheriffs is knocking at the door, they coming for something. They not just knocking because somebody called 911. If they were not, if somebody was just calling 911 house, if somebody was just calling 911, they would have sent the regular police. The, the, the regular, you know, regular schmegular boys in blue. When the sheriff come, they coming for something. How did they say I'm leaving here with something? They coming for something. Okay? So, they over there, her and Blue Daddy looking like they terrified and scared. They both over there looking like they terrified. They don't know what to do. And I'm over here saying, well, damn, everybody got warrants except Junior. Junior. Huh, Junior. He la be do be da maluminati. Can't you tell I need love? Everybody got warrants but Junior. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. But anyways, allegedly, because that's the way that's what it was giving. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back into it. So boom. So now uh she goes back live. She's doing what do you call them? She's doing um um Bible study. Now she want to learn about the Bible because I've been telling y'all for months. She had she's a three trick pony. Like you know, they said somebody said somebody's a one trick pony. Kushan is a three trick pony. She does one of three things every single time. What are those things? She either gets on using the baby, using Junior, to reach sympathy from you guys, or she uses God, or she cries. It never fails. It never fails. Listen, this is not, she doesn't venture off from the plan. The only thing that she may do is you might get a combination of the three. So the other day when she was over there on the live trying to ask the people about Bible stories and whatnot, you got a combination because she started off over there talking about how she want to learn about the Bible. She's just learning about the wars going on in Israel. That's what she started off saying. And then it turned into the police is there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because she was crying when she was talking about the wars in Israel. She was crying. She was crying. Then it went from that. It literally went from that to Bible study. That's literally what it is. It went from that to Bible study. Now, she's been losing followers by the droves. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows this. It's been a lot going on in this thing. But let me show y'all how she gets y'all. So this is what she'll do. Let's share this tab. Is this the tab I'm already sharing? Let me share this tab with you guys. This is every time she's in hot water, this is what she does. Look, 
She comes out parading this child, unfortunately. See, right here, you're going to get a combination. Check it out. Right here. Yeah, like, you want to make sure he's loved properly. Like, you, you just hope that Oh, wait, I just realized you got all three in it. You got all three. She crying, praying, and she got Julia. That, that, see, this one was around the time it was real bad. I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who chase Papa. Happy, happy, happy. Hi, Papa. Good morning. Good morning. Happy birthday. Hey, Papa. Happy This is what we get. This is what we get. And every time the people go eating out of her hands once again, every single time, every single time. Well, after she bold faithfully lied and told us that nothing ever happened with the boy, uh, James Wright Chanel, that it was all a lie, which we all know now is false. Let's get into the doggone documents. Let's get into the, 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 the tea. Let's get into what the people is over here reporting down at the courthouse. These, I, again, I we over at the dollhouse, we broke it first. But we're going to get into some other things because I got some more documents. Okay? So, boom. So, Prashan, let me go to this tab so we can pull up these documents. Now, these documents have just surfaced. These are the documents uh, from the courthouse, the state of California versus Krishan Malone. Now, mind you, I misspoke. I said that the charges were filed back in November. They were not. I misspoke. Let me re retract that. They were not filed back in November, even though they said that they were pressing charges. Maybe it takes a while. I don't know. But the incident date happens from November, okay? So here are the charges, okay? Let's get into them. Let me go this way because I don't think I want to start with this one. Let's get into these charges because it's a lot going on. So, not this one. Let's start here. All right. So, let's start here. We have the case number right here, defendant ID, filing date, January 23rd, 2024. But look at the date of offense, November 10th, 2023. This is the day of, of Tamar Braxton's concert right here. This is the day. But they filed it on this day. Now, I don't know how the courthouse work up in California. Maybe it takes months sometimes to file court papers. Or maybe the other theory is the uh, 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 they picked it up after getting some more information. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we do know that James Wright Chanel came back and filed some more paperwork after this happened. Let's get into it, though. I'm talking about on the legal side. So this is... Um, Clara Shortage Folks Criminal Justice Center, that's the filing courthouse. The arrest date was November 10th, 2023. Now, this is where I'm kind of confused. Now, it says arrest date. I don't think she was arrested. So I'm confused at why there's an arrest date here. But maybe if y'all in the comments and y'all smarter than me on it, let me know. Anyways, and the case title is The People of the State of California versus Malone Krishan. Okay. Look at these charges. Assault with a un, with a deadly weapon. I ain't monetized. Assault with a deadly weapon, not a firearm. That would be the rings. Also, battery on a person with injury. That would be his his injuries that he he suffered. Okay, Candy Girl says the arrest date is the day she was served. Okay. If the, so she was served on the on November 10th because that's the date of the incident. November 10th, right? That's the date of that's the date of the incident. I want to make sure I'm re yeah, that's the same date of the offense date. I don't know. We'll get into it. That's the date of her warrant. Gotcha. It could be that LK reactions. Yes, it could. You're right. You're right. You're right. Lemon say the DA is against Krishan, as they should be. She's a menace to society. Let's get back into it. So this is the DA, the state. This is the state picking up these charges. This ain't James Wright Chanel. This ain't Tamar Braxton. This ain't nobody but the state of California, okay? This is the state of California versus Krishan Malone. This is why you know it's big. Let's move over here to the next document. All right, so this is another do a document for her arraignment date. So it's the same thing, People versus Krishan Malone. 
Claire Shortage, uh, Short Ridge, I'm sorry, Folks Criminal Justice Center, same arrest date, case number, filing date, all that. Now, here's her arraignment and plea date. She is scheduled to report on February 27, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. For her arraignment and plea. That's to go in and say, hey, Yana, I'm not guilty. That's her arraignment date. Sep not September, God. February 27, 2024. Okay? So, then we also have a letter to appear, right? So now if I'm reading this correctly, because again, like I said, I'm not a real law expert, but it says custody of status and it says letter to appear was, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that would be served on January 23rd, 2024. Am I correct? Somebody in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, because this saying uh, letter to appear. I don't know if that's for Krishan to appear or if that's the court to appear. Either way, I'm just giving you guys what's going on. She did not, facts over feelings, no, she did not get a charge of a deadly weapon because a deadly weapon would be like a blicky or like a knife or something like that. Because it was just her rings, because it was just her rings, you it, it's not considered a deadly weapon, if that makes sense. So basically, she has the state on her trail right now. This ain't just no regular, regular, schmegular stuff. This is the state on her tail. Like, if she doesn't show up for this, y'all think the, the U.S. Marshals had arrested or was arresting her ass down there on Batty South. Y'all think that was happening. This gonna be way worse. Way, 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 way worse. Do not put no names in my chat. I don't know what you're asking for, uh, the BH or whatever it is. I don't want nobody. Because if, it, if it's who I think it is, do not put their name in my chat. Please don't give them that type of, please, I'm begging you. Please. I would die. Please don't put them in my chat. But anyway, where was I? Listen. So she has the state looking for her. Not the city. Not the boy. The state of California is saying, you need to come down to court. We got some stuff on you. Okay? So, Brandy Marie says, I wonder if Blue's going to be in her corner like she was in his. Has he ever been? No. He ain't going to be in her corner. Mods, where y'all at? Where y'all at, Mods? Let me get you from over here, Fat. Let me get you from over here. Because see, what, we got, what we're not going to do, because see, this is one of them, Um, and I'm going to get you up out of here. I'm going to go ahead and get you up out of here. Ban you for life. Come back on your burn page. See, what we're not going to do, what we're not going to do is have them uh, bottom feeders over here in my chat because nobody goes over to theirs. Go play with your coochie. Don't play with me, okay? Please, find you something safe to do old woman okay and anybody else anybody else i need my mind on this where my mind's at and i need my mind on this because i will ban all of these tr these trash you know what's from my chat go over there and play in the corner with your block bitch don't come over here with that ugly ass shit okay you and your leader. Go play with your blocks in the corner. You special ed ass hoes, okay? Let's move on. I'm not going to let you interrupt my show. I need some more minds because I don't know where they at. I don't know where the minds at. Anyway, I'm on your ass though. I'm watching. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, these are the charges that this girl has, and she has the state. She has the state on her trail. Do you, you see what I'm saying? She has the literal state on her trail. And this ain't going to be, I thought I made you a my Jeremiah. I thought I made you a my.
I thought I made you one. I ain't never make you a man. I think I just married you if it wasn't you, somebody else. Anyways, moving on. So she hasn't stayed on her trail, you guys. And this is really big. You know what I'm saying? This is huge because what we got, what we know is this girl has other prior engagements. She has a probation from somewhere else. Okay? She had the charge with the blue face incident. Do you guys recall? Let me start reading the chat. Let me get up here. Do you guys recall that that time when she wrote her name on the well, she wrote I love you blue in 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 blood on the wall? Y'all remember that? So she did that, right? And she did that during the midst of them having an issue. So during the midst of them having an issue, she takes his car, takes it and runs all the way across, trying to run from, she tried to drive from LA to damn near Baltimore, if not Baltimore, with this boy's car. The police, and now at this point, when you go state to state, that makes it a federal issue. That that now makes it a federal issue. That puts the U.S. Marshals and all these other federal people on your on your trail. Yes, Ashley just told you didn't know that. You didn't know that. Now, now you're gonna make me go find it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, with blood. Yes, she did. Ashley just told you didn't know that. Oh, girl, now you're about to make me go find it. I'll look for it while I'm talking. So she goes on the run with this boy. She goes on a run with this boy. and I mean, not with this boy, with his car, I'm sorry. And the police is looking for her. This is how slow the girl is. This is how slow she is. She is on, she goes on back. This is what happened. Let me back it up. So she goes on a run with the car. They finally catch her. They arrest her. Boom, she goes to jail. Let's pull up this article I had about this before we get into her with the blood. Because I want to I wanna share this in sequence, right? So. He goes to uh, jail. She goes to jail and she's scheduled to appear in court. Guess what Krishan does? Guess what Krishan does? Nothing. Krishan does not go to court. Well, they put a warrant out for her arrest. This is how slow she is. She gets the warrant out for her arrest. You would think she would sit her ass down. Not Krishan. Nope. You know what Krishan does? Goes on baddie south. Well, they arrested her ass, and we get the whole day after day. Remember we was laughing about that last time? Remember we was laughing about that last time, that day after day? Seems like I push against the ground. Let's get into this. That's that video. That's where that come from. Because the bitch, she just, something is wrong with this girl. And she got caught with drugs. Yes, ma'am. Yes, she did. Let's get into it. Let's let's take a look at this little article right quick. Let's look at this article. So, according to the source.com, here's what they say, right? Now, here's her um charges. At this point, she's a fugitive. See, status fugitive. Wanted poster. That means if we were back in the in the uh times of the old westerns, they would have somebody draw up a photo and put Krishan small head ass on there with wanted under the back. You see what I'm saying? So boom, she is this is her this is her shit. Black female, five six, hundred sixty pounds. Da 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 da. Docket. Uh, current facility, interstate probation output, or whatever that says. Let's get into the charges. It says, um, here's the case number. The course, the uh, the case number right here. Where's my mouse? Oh, here we go. Craig County Court failure to display stamp on uh CDs and also um, what's this? Distrib distribution of cds possessions with intent so I'm, i guess they're talking about the drugs that's what that was controlled substances or drugs or something like that so this is her one of her, one of many of her and it says rock was arrested in 2022 for distribution of crack cocaine and driving a stolen vehicle in may of last year rock was arrested on an outstanding warrant from oklahoma and in new orleans remember y'all she had that that thing in new orleans remember she went to jail in new orleans and blue face and her got into it 
Remember they got into it because Blueface said she was over there flirting and got the, the number to the CO? Let me tell y'all something. I'm from New Orleans. Them niggas, them niggas will sweet talk your ass. Let me tell you something. They will sweet talk your ass, but don't trust them. I'm telling you, I'm from there. Them niggas ain't shit, but they sound good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so she uh, gets caught with the car and crack cocaine. This is what they said. I didn't say it. This is what they said. And it says also May of last year, Rock was arrested on an outstanding warrant from Oklahoma in New Orleans. Now, so this is what we know. Krishan has an issue as it pertains to doing the right thing when it comes to the, to the law. It says Krishan Rock, whose real name is Krishan Malone, has an outstanding warrant in the state of Oklahoma and reportedly appears on the state's most wanted fugitive list. Girl, this is at younger than 23. On the poster on the Oklahoma Department of Corrections page, Rock has been charged with possession of a controlled dangerous substance without a tax stamp, also which carries a four-year jail term and possession with the intent to distribute, which also carries a four-year sentence. Now, this is what's crazy. The bitch ended up getting, she ends up getting, um, she ends up getting probation. How? I think it was the celebrity. But she ends up getting probation for this. How she beat it, it it's, it's just, you know how it goes. Certain people get certain things in the world that we live in. Let's peep this out right quick. I'm about to peep this out right quick. Come on now, is this too far down? We're at the top of the thing. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. This is an article talking about her charges and how she beat it and got probation. Mind you, this charge that just came about in 2024, this is going to violate all of this. Now we're going to see how she got probation. So according to this article, uh, SKPOP, sportskeeda.com, it says she wanted to do a second delivery. Krishan Rocks receives four years probation. Let me scroll down a little bit so I can see a little more. She uh want, she receives four years probation in Oklahoma drug case it sparks me uh meme fest right there's Krishan da 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 let's get to the article the words scroll back up I'm sorry I went too far down it says uh Krishan Rock and Blueface recently became the talk of the town the duo welcomed their child into the world on Sunday September 3rd and Krishan Rock live streamed her delivery on Instagram soon after she was viral again when it was revealed that she had been sentenced to four years of probation for her involvement in the Oklahoma drug case now mind you remember the, the uh, ex-boyfriend Ronnie said that and she said it out her own mouth they used to go over to uh LA get drugs and drive them back to Baltimore. Remember she said because they had the fire green out there. So boom. So then it goes on to say the news article, the news which was confirmed by court uh, documents obtained by Urban Islands on Thursday, September 7th, broke the internet. Neetsons or net netizens then took to social media to react with the same memes. Who cares about the memes, okay? So there's a part in here that I want to read because this is the most important part. Let me go up. Krishan Rock's fans were over the moon when they learned that she would not have to serve jail time or time in jail for her involvement in the Oklahoma drug case. The charges which she pled guilty to, including po uh, possession of a controlled dangerous substance, substance, I'm sorry, without a tax stamp and possession with the intent to distribute. Now, when you ever, whenever you hear possession with the intent to distribute, that literally means that she had enough on her that she was going to sell. That's all that means. You either have your personal stash or you got a whole bunch and they know you're about to sell it. They know you can't use all of that. So it says, according to court documents obtained by Urban Islanders, she was sentenced to a probationary period of four years until March 15, 2027. 2027, March 15, 2027, along with the fine and some community service. During this period, she is strictly to comply with tribal federal and municipal laws that's the big part she's strictly to comply with tribal federal and municipal laws well she just violated that she literally just violated that how huh? no sway 
And again, it was a bunch of crush animals, them old ass bitches who was over there egging this bullshit on because all they cared about is making sure they fade don't look bad. They didn't care about the fact that this girl was driving a car from doggone uh, 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 LA all the way to Atlanta, not Atlanta, to Baltimore with drugs in the car. Mind you, let me go get this right quick. See, this is why I've always questioned everything that she says because she's a pathological liar. She's a pathological liar. Let's go get this right quick. Let's go get this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me in here. So the boyfriend, in the midst of arguing one time with Blueface, remember that we had this whole thing saying that basically Blueface is the dad. I mean, that uh, Ronnie is the dad. And at first he was kind of playing on it. And then he came back and was just like, I ain't the dad. That's your baby. Da, 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 da. Um, so him and Blueface had words on Twitter. You know, this, this is never anything in person. They had words on Twitter. And Blueface's ex, Blueface's ex, Krishan's ex, took to social media to give his side of the story. Now, he's already admitted, and we talked about it on this live before, he's already admitted that basically Krishan set him up. He has admitted that on multiple occasions. He's also admitted that he gave Krishan back to Blueface. And if it were not for him doing that, she would be right back with him. I don't want to share this person. God, no. Let me find somebody smaller. I don't want to share that person. I don't want to share that person. Oh, and just in case y'all new to the live and y'all didn't see this last time we spread, I'm going to put it on every time we get on here. Let's get over here. I want to share this right here. This is Krishan talking about the incident when she was over, and I know y'all probably seen it already. I get it. This is Krishan talking about the incident when that her ex went to jail for and she's going to do a fraudulent slip and admit that she killed the man first the olympics because mm -hmm. i was in the jail olympics i was going to be a track star just where is it going to take you it's ex from the state to go to school for free mm -hmm. you feel me so, so? Me, right. it's not bad at all so how did you how did you get into modeling like how did all brands contact you like how long you been doing that for uh, we still not off that story. So after I killed that nigga, well, I didn't kill him. I, 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 I... Did you catch that? She said, we still not off that story. So after I killed the nigga, peep this. This is how slow this girl is. Like, how long you been doing that for? Uh, we still not off that story. So after I killed that nigga, well, I didn't kill him. I, 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 I swear to uh -huh. he did. He, he ended up... He did you catch it? I'm going to play it one more time and we're going to move on. Uh, we still not off that story. So after I killed that nigga, oh, I didn't kill him. I, 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 I swear to God. Shout out to Zaza TV. So y'all heard that, right? This is, her, this is when her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend did that time because she's claiming that he ended up getting, um, he ended up getting, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 they dropped the, the, the murder charge because they said that it was self-defense, but he still got the whole thing with, um, what do you call it? He, he got the whole thing with, with, uh, with having a weapon and he not supposed to have it. So he ended up doing like four months or five months or six months or something like that. So that's what that is, right? Um, let's go get Krishan's ex as he responds to Blueface, because Blueface is over there trolling or whatever, and Krishan uh, X responds and basically told her, told him, I, I gave her to you, and if you really want to be completely honest, uh, you think she was going over there to, to show you, or to, to go to her mama, she was coming to bring drugs to me. In this very interview that I just played, in this very interview, interview I just played, she admitted that they would go over there, they will go from place to place. They will go from L.A. to, to uh, what do you call it? They will go from L.A. to Baltimore. So they will buy drugs in L.A. and go to Baltimore to sell it. She said it. So when he said that, I said, oh, now this makes sense. This makes sense. Because 
that would be the only reason why she would be trying to take this boy's car all the way from LA. You see what I'm saying? To Baltimore. Now she told Krishan, uh, she told she told Blueface that she was going to see her mama, but the boy said that wasn't true. The boy said that was a bold face lie. Let's go get it. Bluffing. So y'all remember when Krishan got caught in Oklahoma with Blueface's G wagon with seven the seven the the Sagittarius. Hey seven, you want to tell him? Hey, tell him you. Hey, seven, you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? You want me to tell him seven? I'm gonna tell him. He said no. Do not. I'm gonna tell him seven. Either you gonna tell him or I'm gonna tell him. Which one? Let me know. You got ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, you don't. You don't remember? You don't. Y'all remember when niggas got caught in the G wagon? Cause y'all drove through the fucking easy pass. You don't remember that? Guess who that G wagon was on the way to? Hmm. Guess who that G wagon was on the way to? Who? I don't give a fuck. Y'all motherfuckers keep acting dumb, bro. You get it? A shocking. Did, did you catch that? He said, guess who that G-Wagon was on the way to? Oh, so look. Let's go fast forward. All right, I got who that G-Wagon was on the way to. Oh, niggas got caught in the G-Wagon? Because y'all drove through the fucking easy pass? You don't remember that? Guess who that G-Wagon was on the way to? Guess who that G-Wagon was on the way to? I don't give a fuck. Y'all motherfuckers keep acting dumb, bro. So we have to be mindful that this girl has been very vocal about shit like this on, on interviews. She's been extremely vocal about shit like this on interviews. She goes on interviews. She says anything out her mouth because she doesn't even think, right? But what happens is, while you was over there writing on, on the wall in blood, that's what I'm supposed to be going to get. While she was over there writing on the wall in blood that she loves Blueface, the boss said she was, and remember, let's put two and two together. Did she not get caught with crack cocaine or, or allegedly crack cocaine, but a controlled substance, substance with the intent to distribute? Put two and two together. If he's online saying, oh, she only came out here, she was only coming out here to, um, to, uh, I'm about to share all this. I'm about to go pull all of this up. I need to start titling this stuff. If he's saying that you think she was out coming out there to come see her mama, but the gag is she was coming out there to come see me. Why wouldn't you believe that if he, they've already said that that's they play, that's what they do. I'm about to show y'all the, the picture. I, I found the picture. I'm going to show you guys the picture of Krishan, where she wrote on the... This is after she left. After she left. This is her, where she wrote on the wall for Blueface to say, hey, Blue, I love you. She did this in blood. Peep it. Are y'all tracking this? Do you see it? Do you see it? That's her writing in blood, I love you, blue, love rocks. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's her. That's her. So if you haven't seen this yet, it's, it's very imperative that we look at this type of stuff. Because if we don't look at this type of stuff, we might miss these context clues. You know what I mean? We got to be aware of these context clues. What's this? I can't hear it. Yes. So this is her writing on, on the wall. Let me go see what you sent me, Shy. Shy sent me some. I, I just sent a message saying, go look at your DMs. Let me go look and see what Shy sent me, y'all. Um, 
Let me see what this is. Girl, them dogs ain't still getting on my nerves. I'm trying to see what this is. Hold on, y'all. Anyways, I can't do it. <laughs> what you saying? Is that what you're sending me with this girl saying about Jesus? Oh, or this one. Or is it this one? Oh, that's what the dad. We'll come back to that, Shia. Thank you. We'll come back to that. So listen, this is the photo of her writing in blood, I love you, Blue. All of this is happening at the same time. All of this. All of this is happening. Yet all this girl has to do is go online, play church music, or read the Bible that she has no comprehension of, and everybody just automatically fall for a lock, stock, and barrel. It baffles me to this day. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I truly don't understand it. Y'all literally throw out logic of what this girl has said and what this girl has done, which you see with your own eyes. Y'all throw that all out the window because she get on there and cry. It's not by mistake that she has a snaggle tooth, and when she cries, she looks like a baby. That's literally not by mistake. It's not, it's not, it's not a, a situation where it's just a coincidence. It's all to play a part in the psyche. I've always said it. She's stupid. She's not dumb. That's the difference. It's one thing to be dumb, but it's a different thing to be stupid. She's stupid. She's not dumb. London, they said she got all the work from. They have been going back. Child, look, they say they have been going back and forth. They have been going back and forth from LA. So they probably already had a connect. They probably already had a connect. You don't let be people debate. Girl, this ain't no debate party, Brooklyn Tea Party. This ain't no debate. This ain't no debate. I'm doing a show. What are you talking about? Anyway, the little snaggle two heifer, you know what I'm saying? This is what she does. This is what she does. Now, let me go and get, let me see if I, I sent them other receipts. Hold on. Stop sharing. I want to see, I want to show you guys something else. Because we've covered the warrants, or we, we've covered the DA. Oh, we got to go get, what's his name? James Wright Chanel. So James Wright Chanel, on top of this, also has filed charges, okay? He has also filed charges. And in these charges, he is basically saying that, you know, yeah, girl, I'm on, I want my criminal money and I want my um my my I want my criminal stuff and I want my coin, as he should. I'm not even mad at him. Let me go see if my girl got him. I like to I always support smaller content creators. So let me go see if my girl got it. Hold on. Nope, not that one. Not the charge. No, not that one. So I'm gonna just go over to uh, TMZ. I'm pretty I'm not TMZ. I'll go over to the neighborhood talk. I'm pretty sure they have it. So James Wright Chanel has now uh, entered the 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 people uh, or the list of people allegedly. Well, not even allegedly because we're gonna pull it up. He has now entered into the list of people adding to these charges. Remember, she already is on probation on probation until March of 2027. March, this girl don't even sit down for five minutes. Why she took that, I do not know. But she's already on probation from here to March of 2027. And she's already violated said probation. Check this out. Let me share my screen. Yes, well, Vicky pressed charges. Yes, she did. Let me, um, I'm gonna pull this uh, thing up. And I wanted to touch on that just a second. So, well, Vicky did press charges. Yes, she did. But the problem is, well, Vicky's uh, case was sealed and then all of a sudden it was dismissed. So, yes, well, Vicky did press charges, but it got like all the information got sealed on it. Like it doesn't exist somewhere. So I don't know if it's over or what. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't exist. It just it, they go. They sealed. I'll say that they sealed. The stuff is sealed. They, 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 the stuff is gone. That's all I know. But, um, well, Vicky, now is the time, girl. Come on, hit her with that civil lawsuit. Yours is on dog on, on TV, girl. 
So let's take a look at uh, the neighborhood talk. It says, oops, James Wright filed officially charges, uh, files official charges against Krishan for allegedly pinching, punching him in the nose and chipping his tooth. This is what we already saw. The filing date was February 6th. 2024. In the case type is intentional bodily injury, injury, property damage, wrongful debt, battery, vandalism, etc. And the status is pending. Now he has already filed charges. Carlissa is everywhere. A ear is listening to go and talk about how he done kicked her son's ass. Girl, they kicked each other's ass. It ain't like it was a one-sided thing. They used to fight each other. Okay, Carlissa, you got to let it let it down. And then this whole goes to post, vacation is more my speed. Thank God I can wake up and fly anywhere. Krishan, if you are that, you know what? She is that stupid. My bad. My bad. She's still that stupid. She definitely still that stupid. She's definitely still that stupid. Mods, we not giving them chances today. Not in this live. Maybe in another live. If they disrespectful in the chat to me, or to anybody else, meaning cursing or acting a fool, just get him up out of here. So somebody saying that the, the, the woke Vicky thing is still going, I don't know. It's still, woke Vicky is the clear girl who went over to Baddie's East and Krishan had January and March to kick her ass when she was praying. But I don't, back to Krishan, I don't know if Krishan is this stupid, but she is. Why would you post something like this? Especially if the people looking for you. Now you're about to be another fugitive on another wanted poster. Like, this would make sense as to why she moved from the house she was over there with January and March, or with March, and moved over to Blueface house. But you stupid. You keep going live. Why are you going live? Normally when people go on the run, they normally hide out. Not Krishan. Not Krishan. And it's aggravating and annoying. It's annoying as shit. So he is um pressing charges. I want to find the one where they were talking about um she's continuing to lose followers, but I don't really care about that at that point. We got bigger fish to fry. She she's also being sued by him. Let me go get it. If y'all hear that pitter patter, that's saint. I'm sorry. Girl, running around like something wrong with him. Let's go get um his look. I think I, I might have even sent it to myself in the email already. Do, 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 do. Let's go get this. So uh, James Wright Chanel, and I, I think he added that at the end. Let's just say James Wright. James Wright ends up saying he's gonna sue Krishan, he's had enough. He said that, um, you know, and maybe he was waiting. This is my guess. I'm assuming he was uh waiting for the criminal piece to drop. I'm just gonna assume, but whatever it is, he's suing, he wants a monetary value attached to his criminal charges, as he should. As he should, because you know why? You don't get to go around putting your hands on people. Now, I know them old rock face uh, crush animals feel like you can, even though they wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight, but you just don't get to go around and do that. And they need to the tread light, because I tell you what, Krishan be done punched their ass. You know what I'm saying? In the face. Let's get into TMZ and what they had. Not TMZ. Why I keep saying the shade room is TMZ? Let's get into the shade room and what they had to say. So according to the shade room, it says, uh, last November, Krishan Rock was accused of assaulting James Wright while backstage at Tamar Braxton's show in Los Angeles. Now it looks like legal documents have been filed in relation to the incident. According to documents obtained by at LA Times on Tuesday, why the LA Times? Girl, bye. <laughs> they own it? Girl, please. Anyway. Um, the LA Times basically it says on Tuesday, Krishan was sued in LA Superior Court for alleged assault and using a homophobic slur, homophobic slur, slur. I'm sorry. In the document, she is accused of punching him in the face and breaking two of his teeth. It says the lawsuit states that while backstage at the Novo on the November 10th, Krishan allegedly became upset while speaking to James because she thought he was supposed to perform during the show. 
However, James believes she was supposed to be involved in the dance portion of the show. Krishan is accused of becoming upset with James and hitting him multiple times in the face while wearing rings. We saw the rings already. James's attorney, Kevin Anderson, said she hit him multiple times in the face for no reason at all. We were surprised that she was able to leave the facility that night. She had on rings that were pretty much equivalent to brass knuckles. The lawsuit also continues to state that Krishan was removed from the dressing room where allegedly the assault occurred and accused of a homophobic, homophobic slur, slur I'm sorry, while describing James. Now, y'all know Krishan. Y'all know Krishan. I'm pretty sure Krishan called him one of the, something like the F word. I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. And we all know how she is. And we all know she's unhinged. And we all know that she does not have, not have the capacity, like I said, to use her words. So she, she results to violence. And that's fine in the hood. But when you go out to real life, you don't get to do that. You don't get to you don't get to just put your hands on people simply because you want to. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works at all. So now she's being sued. She's violated probation. Now we haven't heard anything from the original uh stuff from Oklahoma. I do have the article of what happened in New Orleans. Y'all remember she got arrested in New Orleans for the incident that happened in Oklahoma? Okay, Jason Lee got a blog. Okay, Jason Lee. Shout out to uh, the Hollywood Unlocked. Let me close this ad. And let me share this. This is back in 2022. It says, Blueface's artist, Krishan Rock, arrested in New Orleans for Oklahoma bench warrant. Let me close. Look at this girl picture. This girl is a psychopath. Look at her. She's a psychopath. You can't convince me otherwise. I don't think I haven't heard her in custody now, Christian. I haven't heard anything about her being in custody now. I can go check on Twitter, but the last I heard, she has not been, she's not in custody. But let me just refresh my Twitter and go see. Cause you know how that thing, how everything happens like this, child. You be over here saying one thing, and then the next thing you know, you know, it's a whole other thing that popped off. I sure wish I could show y'all some of these fights, but I, you know, YouTube don't play that. So we're not going to show them. All right. I haven't seen anything saying that she's in custody. Last thing we saw was the sheriff's knocking at her door. And also after them knocking at the door, we also saw uh, Krishan saying that she going to pray about it and all of that. She want to learn about Bible studies and whatnot. And then from there, we got, you know, she on vacation. That's all I know. She's on vacation. And in my opinion, the vacation really means she on the run. I don't care if we on the run. Baby, long as I'm next to you. Anyways, let's get back into it. So this is her, her photo. And let's get into the article. Now, this is another violation she had from the Oklahoma case. Peep this. This is all on on uh, Crazy in Love. It says, yikes, Blueface artist and boo thing, Krishan Rock has been arrested in New Orleans, Louisiana for a bench warrant out of Oklahoma. Krishan Rock's February arrest in Oklahoma. It says, as we previously reported back in February 22, Krishan, full name, Krishan Rock, uh, Krishan Malone was arrested in Oklahoma on Valentine's Day, February 14th, after stealing Blueface's car. Apparently, the budding rapper got into it with her boss, Boo, and took off. Blueface said Krishan stole one of his cars and attempted to drive back to her native city of Baltimore, Maryland, from Blue's Mansion in L.A. Now, according to Krishan's charges, uh, charging documents, the time of her arrest in Oklahoma, she was hit with the charge of receiving a with the charge of received, possessed, and concealed stolen vehicle. The documents also noted that she was hit with some drug-related charges as well. Those include distribution of controlled substances and possesses with intent. Let me say this. So I, I, I misquoted. Let me say this again. So she wasn't arrested right then and there. They arrested her from stealing a car in New Orleans. That's what I'm getting from it. That is a huge... Listen, have you guys... I'm from New Orleans and driving from... Louisiana to Texas, I mean, to California is like insane. This girl tried to drive from the east, from the west coast all the way to the east coast. This doesn't make any sense. 
Why she thought she was going to make it, I do not know. But at the end of the day, it was impossible for her to make it in doggone, um, what you call them? Matter of fact, let's go get the text. Since some of you guys may not have been on that live when we uh, discussed the text messages, let's go get the text um, from Krishan that they were texting each other while she's on the run, mind you. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go in, we gonna go into a couple of things over here at the dollhouse. Let's get into the text that they were going back and forth with him trying to talk her off the ledge saying, Krishan, bring the car back. You in a lot of trouble. And she was literally sounding incohesive, like, I mean, incohesive, incoherent. She was literally sounding like something was wrong with her. I don't know what was going on, but let's go get into it. All right. Oh, I got to put a recipient in there. Let's go get these texts because, you know, I'm all about a good receipt. So they caught her in, in New Orleans for the uh, car and the drugs. Yes, it was crack cocaine with the, with the intent to distribute. So it wasn't a personal use, but that's what they said. So let's go get that. Somebody, are y'all talking about that stuff that was happening on her page, on her story? I believe it's an old, old picture. Krishan is crazy. Let me show y'all her story since we on it. This is her acting like, this is her, her baby picture. Oh, she done took the vacation. I'm on the vacation thing down, child. She done took it down. Let's go get um these, these texts. This is Blueface texting Krishan at the time saying, bro, you need to come back with my car. Like you need to pull over something because this is not going to work out good for you. And Krishan being Krishan, not listening and being silly and, and, and got herself in way more trouble. Girl, these are federal charges. What are you talking about? Like, what are you doing? Let's go get them. Peep this. This is her texting him during the, the so-called uh, high-speed, low-speed chase or whatever you want to call it. It says, Daddy, Blue, you have my location, but where are you? Why can't I come where you at? I'm ducked up. I guess she meant to say fucked up. What the F? You acting like, Daddy, what the F? We ain't family, Daddy. That, this is her texting him. Peep him. He's saying... Uh, the car has a tracking device on it, by the way. He says, you better off parking it, taking it to a train or a flight, taking a train or a flight to be more. You're not going to make it driving that car. It takes a lot of gas. She said, um, and this is kind of scratched out because it's from the shade room, but it says something up the state to hide it. She said, never mind. It's cool. God got me. He says, now nah, you tripping. The devil has got you now. Listen. See, a lot of people let a lot of things go over their head. She said, God got me. He said, the devil has got you now. So then it says, uh, she liked his comment and she said, my mom need me. I'm going to be right back. Well, we know that's a lie because the, the ex boyfriend said she was coming down there to see him in that boy car. It says, he says, you're useless to your mom in jail. You are only going to cause more pain on your family. I don't think you fully understand that crime or the crimes you're committing. You're driving a stolen vehicle with bad tags. He says, you left your DNA at the crime scene. He's talking about the blood on the wall. When he said you left your DNA at the crime scene, he's talking about her writing, I love you blue on the wall. This is how slow she is, but this is y'all's Christian savior. Then um, she goes on to say, well, that's mad petty. I'm lit, I want, but I want to be with you. I'm going to go to your pool, meet me. She says, how you woo is wet. Why are you not loving right now? It's weird. Hello, pick the F up. Then she says, cool, I hate you. He said, you finna mess up your whole life. Shake my head. Good luck. Police waiting for you at the state line. Are y'all tracking what I'm doing? Are y'all tracking what's going on right here? But see, this stuff is not highlighted. Because the media not going to highlight it. And doggone the Christian animals, damn sure not going to highlight it. Because it's going to make their savior look bad. It, it, it's weird. She's over here with this dude. in his. I'm not with him. In his car, texting him. And he's telling her, girl, you, you about to ruin your whole life. Just, just stop. Just pull over. He's even giving her out. He's not saying he wanted to go to jail. He said, pull over, leave the car, and girl, go get in a, a, a train or something or a bus or a, a, a flight. 
go do he's trying to help her but she gone she gone he didn't report the car stolen from what i understand what reported the car stolen in cola pop uh, pop culture from what i understand what reported the car stolen i could be wrong but from what i remember what was the one re reported it stolen blue stay letting her know she's messing up her life never lie he messed up his too though yeah absolutely ygt absolutely absolutely 100 this is crazy listen I'm telling y'all, this is the part that these other people don't want to show y'all. They don't want to show y'all this. They want y'all to see Krishan as this victim. She's not a victim. If anything, she's a willing participant. If not a willing participant, she is like the, the ring lady. I don't know. I'll say this. I will say this. I will say this. Like I said, all of the Chris animals want to make this girl seem like she's just so good and, and he's just so bad and he just needs, he's just over there messing with her and doing her. And that's not the case. This girl has a problem, a serious problem. And, and this is, listen, these charges that this girl have, this is all their fault. This is all, all of y'all who promoted this shit. All of y'all who stood by this shit, all of y'all who was over there, I love you, Krishan. I love you, Krishan. This is your fault. This is your fault. This is all your fault. Because nobody, when I say nobody, I mean nobody held this girl accountable. Nobody. Everybody was over there all either reporting on it or they were just over there saying, well, she's young. She's this. She's that. Now we're at a, a, a part in her life where she's definitely got a, she got an appearance for sure. And I guarantee you, I don't know how long it's going to take. But as soon as Oklahoma, as soon as Oklahoma gets a hold of this, they are going to put out a warrant for Krishan. As they should. As they should. And who's going to take care of this child? Who's going to take care of Junior? See, to be honest, do I think she deserves to go to jail? Yes. Absolutely. She deserves to go to jail. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. But ultimately... What I, I I can't help but wonder what's gonna happen to this child, y'all. What's gonna happen to this child? I, I cannot, I cannot for the life of me understand, you know, how she has so much or so less regard for her child and make the decision that she makes. So now, God forbid. I'm not going to say God forbid, because at this point, it's inevitable. She's probably going to end up in jail at some point or another. She had already said she distanced herself from her family. She said she wanted nothing to do with them. Now she's trying to talk to one of them over there. I think it was Serene. I don't know. They all got different names. She was over there trying to talk to one of them about the Bible. So maybe she's trying to get back in with her family. But you have caused so much damage to your family where they're probably going to stick by you because they feign hungry. But you could have literally burned bridges and probably burned bridges that you really need. Like, all because of what? Because you running behind a nigga? And the crazy part is all them whack-ass, uh, old-ass bitches they call Christian animals or that I call Christian animals, y'all were the same ones over there promoting this shit, coddling her in this shit, and ain't none of y'all capable of getting the kids. Y'all barely capable of keeping your own. Let's talk about it. Y'all y'all barely capable of keeping your own. Like, this, this is bad. This is bad. And this is all for, this is all from her. Nobody, listen, nobody forced Krishan to do anything. Nobody, uh, 
forces her to deal with Blueface. Nobody forces her to go back with Blueface. Nobody forces her to, to fight Blueface. All of these are Krishan's choices. But she's making these choices like a lot of Black women have done in the past. You make these choices without the thought of your child in mind. And then look where we are. Look where we are. It's just ridiculous, y'all. It's really ridiculous. And, and like I said, my concern from the very beginning of this stuff, before it was a kiki, it was a laugh, it was like whatever. But once you go from a kiki and a laugh to understanding that there's a child that's about to really be negatively affected by your stupid decisions, that hit a little different because I don't care about you, bitch. They can throw you in the jail and throw away the key for all I care. But this child... That child don't even have reputable people on either side of the family. Blue face mama, Carlissa is probably the most decent one. And that says a lot. That says a whole lot to say Carlissa is the most viable person to send the child by. And all three of her children can't stand her. But yeah, for us to be sitting up here, and, and I believe it too, for us to be sitting up here saying that Carlissa is the most viable option. And we know all three of her children can't stand her. Let me get you up out of here, too. Let me get you up out of here, too. You're going to have to go ahead and go where you used to be. Let me get you up out of here, too. Thank you. Watch from the bushes. Appreciate you. Anyways, well, as I was saying, um, yeah, so it's bad that we have this is the option. Carlissa. And Carlissa don't give me, I'm the grandmother to take care of your kids. She just don't give me that. She don't give me full-time grandmother to the kids. You know, they got a lot of people out there that give that, but Carlissa ain't one of them. It's ridiculous. But this is where we are. And again, like I said, I said this on my live earlier. I'll share it with you guys. Um just a little bit i said this on my live earlier this morning on my morning jokes let me say this y'all let me say this so i have come to the realization that the generation of women between 30 and 55 are solely responsible listen to me and listen to me good we are solely responsible for what we have created when it comes to these children let me say that again this generation between 30, I want to say 35 and 55, we are 100% responsible for the Krishan rocks of the world. You know why? This is just my theory. I'm not a, a scientist or a researcher. I'm just going to give you what I believe it is, and then we're going to get up out of here. My generation of Black women has this thing with our mothers to where we resent them so much. We've gone through so much trauma, so much negativity, so much, all of these things with our parents, with our mothers, not, not the parents. Let me back it up. Black women between 35 and 55 have this thing that we've gone through so much with our mothers that we decided when we had kids, we were not going to do what happened to us that, you know, to our children, which at the surface is a great thing. But the problem with that is, the problem with that is, is while we over there, you know, not doing nothing and, and, and not doing this that our parents did, we, we are actually taking away certain things and aspects that these children need. And again, it's not anybody in particular. Don't I don't want nobody to get offended because it's not me. I'm saying that as a collective of black women, we tried to right the wrongs of our mothers and it ended up hurting our children. That's why you have a whole bunch of old ass Christian. When I started realizing that the Christian animals was a bunch of old ass bitches, that blew my mind. It still blows my mind to this day that they have old, old women. I'm talking about women who, who old enough to be Krishan's mother. Some of them, her grandmother. She's only 23. And it's a whole bunch of these women who's over there pacifying and egging on this bullshit. And I started to think, well, damn, what, where have we gone? But we tried so hard not to be our mothers that we ended up being worse than our mothers. And we have breeded a whole generation of Krishan rocks. Why do you think Sexy Red over there patting her coochie after she just had a baby? Why you think Sukiana on a dog on red carpet bust wide open over there in London want to get her coochie scratched? 
we 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 did it. We didn't even realize that there has to be a balance. Most of us want to be our children's friends. The other, a lot of us want to live vicariously through our children. I'm gonna do a video, Hashlinger. I'm gonna do a video on Monique. We'll do. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Most of us want to live, want to be our our children's friends. Most of us want to live vicariously through our children. And the other of us don't even give a damn about them at all because all we worried about is trying to relive our youth that we lost because we had them so young. Let's talk about it. And within that, and within that, we are ending up in a situation where we are creating a generation of women who we think you think we don't care about them kids. We are creating a generation of women who will literally put their kids' lives at risk. Because the lack of care is through the roof. This is on us. This is our fault. This is all our fault. This is all our fault. And I understand the, the reasoning behind it. I understand the method to the madness. I understand. But we really made a mistake, y'all. We really made a mistake. We really made a mistake. She, we really made a mistake. I don't really understand what you're saying, Shy. I don't, I don't know who this TikTok person is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know because I feel like that's off subject. Yeah, I'm not doing that tonight. Not, not tonight, Shy. We're not doing the, we're not doing the Krishan, the the Jesus Junior thing tonight. We'll catch that on another live. Just remember to send it to me again. But I'm saying all that to say we literally um this our fault. This our fault. And that's another thing, Asia. I'm so glad you said that because everybody talking about who's gonna get this baby. Let's just say, God forbid, but let's say somebody get this baby and we find out that. This child really have issues and need to go back and forth to doctors. Need to uh, that's a lot for anybody, any 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 person. Period, especially when it's not your child. Everybody ain't gonna be running to take on Junior. So you know, it's just not. I, I just don't see it, and it sucks because, like I've been saying from the beginning. The only person that's going to suffer is Junior. Junior is going to be the only person that suffer. All these rockhead, rock toys, Chris animals, they're going to go on about their business and find them another Chris animal. I mean, Chris They're going to go find them another Chris and cling to that one and, by, and so on and so forth. Vanilla. See, and this is the problem. Vanilla. And I don't mean to call you out, but I, I just want to, I want to prove a point. I want to prove a point. Black people, we got to stop being getting our feelings about shit. We got to. We have to. We have to. We have to. Because if black women have an issue, black women have an issue. Rather you birth the kids or not. Just because you don't birth kids don't mean you you can't play a part in the 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 demise of these girls. Black women got to stop that. We all are black people. We got to stop that. I don't condone Krishan, but I'm looping myself in that because I'm a black woman. We have to stop that. It is not just a black mother's problem. It is a black women's problem. It is a black women's problem. It's not just a black mother's problem. Because if that was the case, then if it was only the black mothers that had the issues, then the ones who don't have kids should be perfect patterns then, right? The ones who don't have kids should be perfect. They should have no issues. When the gag is, a lot of y'all have issues just like a lot of the mothers. You don't have to agree, Vanilla. You don't have to agree. I'm just, but I got the platform, so I'm gonna say it. This is stop thinking. We and this is another thing we have to stop doing. Stop thinking of yourself. It's not about you. This, this is that's why this is why our our community is so far behind. Every single other community think of a whole they think of everybody they think of generations down this way three four generations that they never even met 
Black people are the only, black American people. I can't speak for the other black folks, but we are the only people who will sit up there and say, as long as me, 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 my, 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 that's all that matters. And that's part of the reason why we jacked up. That's part of the reason why we jacked up. Right there. Right there. Because nobody want to be able to stand in the bullshit. I'm not a Christian anymore, and I don't. Ra- I didn't raise my daughter like that, nor will I raise a child like that. But I have to understand when it comes to the issues and generations to come, it is all of us. It's, it's all of our responsibility. It is. It is. Y'all got to stop with that. With that. Oh, it ain't me. It ain't me. That individualism ass shit. Somebody just put it in the comments. Y'all have to stop with that. Because it's all of us. We have to be responsible for our children. It was a, it was once a point in time black women cared about children. They don't do that no more. It's all about me, 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 me. Well, I ain't got no kids, so I don't give a damn. That's your kids. That ain't mine. That's why we fucked up too. That's why we fucked up too. Nobody thinks about nobody but themselves. This is us. We. This is on us. It was one time black women had a community and that time wasn't that long ago. I'm going to be, I'm going to lie about three, four years ago. We was just the most highly decorated and educated. Now we the most lowest scum to the earth in the eyes of the others, which I don't care about how they look at us, but it does play a part in our reality. Does that make sense? Right, we got to do better, man. We got to do better. Listen, I'm going to say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna get up out of here because I don't want to stress myself out tonight. Because I realize my people, I love my people to death. Do you hear me? I love my people. Can't nobody tell me nothing about my people. But when me and my people are having a conversation, we're going to have to have these tough conversations and not get offended or feel like let me separate me from the group. You can't. Because guess what? When your ass want to cut your ass down there to go get reparations, you don't separate yourself from the group, do you? When y'all want to go get reparations, you ain't different from the group. Now we all in the group. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? We got to stop that, y'all. We got to stop that. We got to help each other. Even the duck-ass, old-ass holes, the Christianimals. We even got to attempt. Now, everybody ain't going to make it. We have to attempt to help them holes. Most of them holes ain't going to make it. And that's fine. You leave them holes over in the hole where they belong. You leave them hoes over in a hole where they belong, but let them go stay. You ex- you exile them type of bitches out the uh out the community. They, you that's this is how it works. You exile them out of the community and you work with the ones who's willing to work. You don't give them an opportunity to come in and out. You exile them and you work with the people who is willing to work. Okay. And that's all of us because we all got to be responsible for each other. Each one, teach one. Okay. Let's get into it. So, oh, oh, really quickly. Let me, um, thank you for the super chat, Kenyatta. Thank you, Shaquana Lee, uh, for the super chat for the, uh, thank you for condemning her ignorance. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiffany, for the, uh, cash app, uh, says preaching facts. Thank you, Shamise, uh, for the cash app says, thank you for going live. Thank you so much. Thank you, Louise, for the cash app. Thank you for keeping it real. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Portia. For the cash app, it says, loving the commentary as always. I appreciate you, Portia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole, for the cash app, for great show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nikki Nicole, for the cash app, for there's a Krishan lookalike. I sent it to your Insta. I saw it, child. I saw it. That girl, I think they putting a filter on that lady face. I hope so, child. <laughs> Thank you, N- um, N- NAD, Jara, MP. Thank you for the cash app for support. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Also, I would like to say thank you again, Kenny, for the cash up. Thank you to everybody who came in live and shared their live with me. Y'all didn't have this to do. It was over 20 some hundred people in the chat. Thank y'all so much for being here. Do me a quick favor. Please, if you have not already, hit the like button. I'm going to play the intro one more time on the way out so we can get it out of our system. <laughs> and um, and uh, please be posted. Like I said, I will be going live covering this stuff because she's probably going to go to jail. She's probably going to go to jail, unfortunately. But we need to find out what's going to happen to Junior. Also, I'm going to ask that you guys subscribe to all of my channels. Please subscribe to my Twitch, my Rumble, 
Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, obviously, also into did I miss one? TikTok and Twitter. Everything is Voodoo Doll TV. Everything is Voodoo Doll TV. Yes. Also, I'm glad you brought that up, Lemurian. She said they keep up unsubbing me. You, it's been a thing that's been happening. I don't know if it's a glitch in the system or something. Make sure you sub, please. When you get off of here, make sure you sub. Then go ahead on and check your uh, notification bells because that's going to be very important to make sure you get these notifications. Okay. Anyways, I appreciate all of you guys for being here. Thank y'all so much for everything you do. I love you. Please help somebody out today. Um, and let's try to start getting back to group thinking because that's what's most important, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all night. I'll see y'all hoes later, and uh, we'll discuss this further on another live. Bye. Mic check. One, two, one, two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you, can you, can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wah, 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 w